on their behalf. William Jule ultimately lost the election and says she did not receive any campaign contributions. Roberts wrote on behalf of the court, judges are not politicians even when they come to the bench by way of ballot, adding that a state's decision to elect its judiciary does not compel it to treat judicial candidates like campaigners for other political office. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. After excitedly posting an image of a Lamborghini Rebenton to his Facebook account earlier this afternoon, 38-year-old little boy Nick Weber talked to Onion reporters about his passion for fast cars. When I saw that car, I was like, whoa, it was so cool. I had to show it to all my friends. I like red cars the best, but only ones that are really, really fast. I can't wait to get one when I'm older. I'm going to get the fastest car in the whole world. Though Weber also frequently posts about his other interests, which include motorcycles, fighter jets, and Marvel superhero Iron Man, the nearly 40-year-old small child confirmed that sports cars are his favorite, and the picture of the bright yellow Lamborghini has already garnered 15 likes and 9 comments from other enthused middle-aged children who are friends with Weber on the social networking site. My best friend Bradley, he sent me a picture of a blue convertible that's so awesome, it has these big wheels, and even has a racing stripe on it. After watching several online videos of fast cars and eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch, the homeowning little tyke went to his room to take a nap. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited to join us here toll-free. Bring up whatever happens to be on your mind tonight. Joining you in studio, you've got Ian. And Johnson. And Mark. And don't forget, you can join us online anytime you like over at freetalklive.com. You can create the content there on the front page of the website. You submit stuff to the site via our Reddit-based system, and other listeners can vote whether they like or dislike what you've suggested. And you can vote on things there as well, so go and get interactive at freetalklive.com. There's a lot uh, still in the news about Baltimore and related protests now. New York City uh, experiencing a crackdown on a solidarity protest there and uh, also, there's uh, there's a video that I, I, we're not gonna, we can't play it on the air, but there's a guy who just gets snatched up off the streets during curfew. A disappearing, yeah, yeah, really scary kind of video. There's like this uh, a armored personnel carrier, not quite a bearcat, a little shorter than a, a bearcat, like a Humvee, I guess. Okay, uh, that, it just rolls up and you know, like fifteen d- cops just come out of the crowd yeah. and just surround this guy. And the the Humvee doesn't even really stop moving, and then it just pulls on by, and he's gone. Yeah, they just shove him in this thing, and they, they take him away. The kind of things I heard about happening in you know uh, in Russia East, or whatever East Germany when yeah. I was well, R- Russia wasn't a country then, Soviet Union. Right. Um, East Germany when I was uh, a kid. Um, you know, my mother would tell me about these things you know in this country you have rights you've got and, rights yeah mm-hmm. yeah so all there's a lot going on uh, but mark you actually had a facebook post that a question of some sort that yes. was sent to you you wanted to share it with us a couple nights ago we never got to it so i wanted to make sure that didn't get sidelined for too long because with all the baltimore news it'll be easy to uh, to you know distract ourselves with that yeah it's a um a message through facebook not uh, like a post on our facebook page and I just want to, uh, you know, you know, we don't we don't address sort of the the simple questions much here on Free Talk Live. And if you write a message, the chances of you getting on the air aren't very good. No, no, you should call in. Uh, yeah, but, toll free eight fifty five four fifty free. Right, we open up the phone lines seven days a week, three hours a day for people to ask whatever questions they want or to talk about whatever they want. And so if you've got questions about liberty that we're not answering properly or you have some kind of reservation because people are always calling us and saying i agree with you guys 90 percent of the time or most of the time or whatever well call in about those things you don't agree with because i would love i would love to see things newly well there's a conspiracy theory out there mark i don't know if you've heard about this but there's some folks over in a local hate group called stop free keen (laughs) uh there was a post recently and i don't generally look at this group but someone reposted it to another group that that i do spend time in uh, where apparently they were planning on calling Free Talk Live one night, <laughs> and uh, they claimed that, uh, well, no one actually claimed to have called, but there was wild speculation in the group that we were screening out their calls. They were calling, but we were screening their calls out. And I would go, I'm going to go on the record, not one of them called. Yeah, no one called because we don't screen out calls on Free Talk Live. You guys Live. just don't get it. You don't get it. This group, when they said that, 
That was actually the hidden message that all their members understood, but you guys didn't get. And what they understood, because the, these are some high-level activists, they all mm. understood when he said that post in there, it was really bait, just bait for you, Ian. I mean, really what they were doing is they were planning a, a nationwide silent protest. <laughs> That's what they do. They come out and they, they show up to a place. In this case, they were showing up to your radio show. You just didn't know they were there. Right, But they, they showed so up to your radio in mass, all of them, all 1,000. 1,200 and some odd or whatever, however many there are, really in that group. There are really 1,200 people in that group. And they all showed up in silent protest to your radio show. All 1,200 of them, you didn't even know. Very subtle. They got you. They got you good with their (laughs) national level silent protest. And you just, it went right over your head. Maybe that's why we didn't take any phone calls, because they were all occupying the phone line silently or something. Some people believe that that's a good form of protest. um, That, you know, not saying Well, they really got their message out there. Yeah, not not saying something is an effective form of protest. I, however, believe that when there are bad ideas out there, that you should... Uh, give good ideas uh, in place of them, and that that's right, the best Right, if you way have them. I mean, if you have good ideas, you should <laughs> talk about those ideas so you can propagate them, so people can come to understand them, so they can embrace them, so they can overcome their objections. Uh, but the people in this particular hate group don't have any good ideas because they aren't willing to talk <laughs> well, about Well, they them. haven't mentioned any of them in like two years uh, that they've been around. So, yeah, I mean, the ultimately, good speech is going to trump bad yeah. speech, um, and... I, I, I'm looking for these. I'm looking for new ideas all the time. I believe I truly am an open-minded individual. I know everybody says that, and most of them aren't, but I really believe that. I, I, my, my, my ideas have changed throughout the they years. They have. I've, been, I've, I've witnessed that happen. I'm looking for new ideas. Please. I have a friend who, uh, an activist in this area, who describes. Um, the ideas of Stop for Keen and their activism, he has a very good term for how he describes their ideas. I mean, it's very easily and easy to encapsulate, and this is every time he hears Stop for Keen, he goes, blah, blah. <laughs> that's their that's ideas. That's way too loud, though. They don't they don't actually speak at all. Like, well, like sometimes. It's, you know, they post it online, and it basically yeah. all it boils down to is blah, blah. Well, they like <laughs> apparently one of their ta- – they do have tactics, though. I mean, even if they don't have ideas, maybe you could maybe you could believe – you could uh, extract some semblance of an idea from some of their tactics. So, for instance, there's a, a problem with the with people stealing peace flags off of the LRN.FM studio porch. I don't think that has anything to do with stuff for King. I think that's just a college hazing threat thing. Well, it's maybe. hard to really we say. We wouldn't know. know. You're not getting any communication out of the thieves. <laughs> but, you know, you could extrapolate from that that they are against peace sure. if they're stealing peace flags. Anyway, uh, so Mark, what was the context or the content, rather, of the message you were sent? Yeah, so this is a Facebook message, and it, it's uh, from a guy named Tyler. And he says, so on Facebook, I've been seeing a lot of people I know jumping on this opportunity to become travel agents through some agency called Extreme. Or this sounds like, I'm vacation. sorry, without even knowing anything, this sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> Who needs travel agents anymore? I mean, aren't, aren't travel agencies basically dying off like phone books? I do think that they have some specialty still in cruises and uh, resort packages, but yeah. other than that, you know, like essentially they market cruise and resort packages. Right. I mean, they're still they're hanging on by a thread. But it seems like there was a time when you're like, I've got to go to Baltimore this weekend. I will call my travel agent and they will give me get find me the best uh, deal. And this was I, the time before. Well, here's the mistake. The websites. That, here's the mistake that travel agents made. You don't need a license to be a travel agent. See, if it were like real estate agent, mm, they should have gotten. They a license. would still be fine. They would be doing all right. They would need. You'd need licenses. You'd need to have a real estate agent in some mm. states. It would. You'd have to have a real estate agent to do a real estate transaction because it would be the law, and you could get fined if you did any kind of which real estate transaction. Which would mean they could have gone. Real which agent. would mean they could have brought some sort of lawsuit against the various different companies that offer tickets sure. for cheap online, like I mean, you know, cheap air. Travel or agents just don't have enough, you know, guns and deals with the government to you know threaten people uh if you do business outside of their industry right to keep their old business model rolling for years beyond when they should i mean travel agents this is and and really this is just the slow example of what's going to happen to other agents you know like things that are uh being disintermediated and what that means is that the internet is basically disrupting that industry so travel agents going away because websites are making it so that people can book their own travel very easily online and guess what selling houses 
doesn't really require someone to come in and do it for you. Might re- you might require an inspector, but you don't really need someone to sell your house for you as much as you could, you know, in the, in the past. Now you can Yeah, but there's still some paperwork it. involved and, you know, sure, if you some, don't know your way around all sure. that. Sure. And you know, you might still need a lawyer, you know, you might still need somebody, but it's again, it's one of those industries that probably is in some danger from the internet and is more, you know, more so in the future, especially if government got out of the way yeah i don't know i mean real estate that's a good it would be an interesting question to have like mark warden the porcupine realtor sure. uh or a porcupine real estate agent answer. i don't know if you know this but i had a real estate license <laughs> did you <laughs> yeah that's right i remember that yeah. and what happened to it uh it was in the state of connecticut and ah, i moved so promptly you didn't, you didn't re-up <laughs> no. well hampshire. i mean in new hampshire i'd have to start over right so I, I got my real estate license and then within like months moved out of the state of connecticut mm. so it was just sort of like one of these things where it's like i'm not going to use it bye Real estate agents have to be like they're really stuck in one place. Um, you you know you build your business by getting sort of name recognition in a given mm-hmm. geographic area. Yeah. There's not really much moving around. Any real estate agent that decides to move essentially has to rebuild from the ground up. I mean, I basically got my license and decided I'm not going to do this. I also signed up with a, a realtor who was kind of a scumbag and d- didn't want to be under that realtor. And I was just like, d- and I got a better job. And I'm just like, nah, I don't need this. I did all this. It was a lot of work, but I don't need it. I've got the money and I don't need to worry about this. All right. So more about whatever this question is about. Something about travel agencies? Yes. Okay. Well, it's not a question yet. I mean, he's okay. just, he's, at this point, he's just placed it. You guys <laughs> haven't <laughs> you haven't shut up long enough no. to ask a question. No, Mark knows how I feel for most of my stories. 855, 450 <laughs> free. This is Free Talk. Live, there's more coming up. Molly's been having four scoops a day and she has slimmed down and gotten this puppy look. Her coat has sheen, you can't believe oh, yeah. it. Her breath is better. She's just perkier. It's just so totally amazing. She's a gorgeous Springer Spaniel. She's 12 and a half years old. The last two, three years, she was really becoming very old, very slow, was very sad. And I thought, oh, this is it. I was driving along one day, and I heard this person raving about Dynavite. Dynavite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859-428-1000. She's got life. She's got energy. She's got stuff to give. She loves it. She chomps at every last single crumb. These ingredients are natural. The flax and the yeast cultures and the grains. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. We're on our third order now. We just want everybody to know about Dynavite. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E oh. dot com. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, 
Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Toll House Refrigerated Cookie Dough. Who would you bake some love for? Find fun and easy baking ideas at tollhouse.com. Kids love doing arts and crafts projects, especially when you join in. Try channeling all that artistic energy into the kitchen and bake up some creative treats together. Think of your art supplies as the frosting, sprinkles, and decorating gels, and use cookies or cupcakes as your canvas. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You may dial toll-free to join us at 855-450-FREE and bring up whatever's on your mind. Coming up, the latest on the Baltimore madness that continues to go on over there. We'll uh, tell you the latest on that. Our toll-free number again, 855-453. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our username is lrn.fm. So feel free to join us in whatever way works best for you. Also, want to tell you about uh, expresscoin.com. It's the best choice for getting your cryptocurrency of choice. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, they're available right now over at ExpressCoin.com. You can get them via money order or check. Start off at ExpressCoin.com, grab their app for your smartphone, but you can also not get the app and just use the website. Whatever works best for you. ExpressCoin, whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, you can get your cryptocurrencies over there and you'll probably get the best deal at ExpressCoin. That's been my experience, at least, especially if you use coupon code FTL. Then there's no fee whatsoever on up to $40 worth of cryptocurrency. So go use code FTL at ExpressCoin.com. Again, that's ExpressCoin.com. They're a licensed money services business, and it's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive to get your Bitcoin there. You need a big order? They can handle that, too. ExpressCoin.com, code FTL. So, Mark, you've been sh- uh, were, were you going to share with us, we were sort of prefacing it with some other discussion about travel agencies, and you know, I'm curious, who really still uses those things? Is it just elderly people? I wonder if you were to talk to uh, you know, a travel agent, an honest travel agent, and ask them about their clientele. Would that would they be over the age of sixty five on average? You know, somebody who perhaps has not familiarized themselves that much with the internet. I, I realize I'm being very general here, and yes, there are plenty of elderly people who are very good online and they spend a lot of time there. I'm not trying to indict a group of uh, of people here, but but certainly it is true that elderly folks are less likely to uh, be affiliated with online things. And so I, I just care. I'm just curious: is that how the travel agencies are hanging on? Because I I know you know I'm in my mid thirties. And I've never once used a travel agency. Mark, you've got a decade on me just about. Have you ever used a travel agency to book travel? I have had travel booked for me through a travel agency. Who Uh, did that? My mother. Okay, Uh, but you yourself... Have never used a travel agency, no. Got it. Um, we have done business. Free Talk Live has done business with a travel agency that's specialized in cruises. Mm-hmm. So um, oftentimes, if you're so gonna, that cruise that you went on with Stefan Molyneux, that's right. So um, oftentimes, if you're going to do uh, cruising, you can find a better deal through travel agencies just by sort of hunting it down. Hmm. Uh, they don't have, uh, for whatever reason, it's not as easy to find the cruise deals as it is to find um, airline deals. And maybe cruise companies are, want it that way, right? I, I don't might, know. I might check if I were going to do lots of like long international travel or something like that, or if I were going to go traveling around Europe or something. Maybe I'd because I don't know the sites and the laws and whatever and. Uh, you know, like travel, like here, it's like, okay, if I'm going to travel in the United States, I know that I will use something like Travelocity or Kayak or, uh, you know, um, Cheap Air, you know, Cheap Air or they take Bitcoin, uh, Priceline yeah. or, you know, all those different companies that are like advertised all the time for finding deals in Europe. I don't know. <laughs> I got a good response here from uh, Campbell's Poop on Twitter to my question. <laughs> Uh, my question was, who uses travel agents these days? And they responded with ayahuasca tourists, which I've definitely seen that online. Ayahuasca <laughs> being a, a DMT-based substance. 
that you ingest <laughs> uh, and you it's essentially made into a tea and then you trip for a good, good portion of a day. This is a drug tourism. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there are places that will set you up with ayahuasca tourism. So you can share your thoughts on that. But Mark, let's jump into Colombia and get some Borondunga. The uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it sounds awful. Uh, let's get it. Is. Get into the question here. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with that previous sentence that we never really got to. Um, Tyler says, so on Facebook, I've been seeing a lot of people I know jumping on this opportunity to become travel agents through some agency called Xtreme and Paycation. If uh, now, I know nothing about these companies. I am not g- endorsing or saying anything about these companies. As in, I know nothing about them. If you try to talk to these individuals about it, they'll defend what they're doing furiously, even though when looking at it from the uh, outside, it appears to be a... A pyramid scheme. I was going to say, it sounds like a scam just from the name of the place. Yeah, well, I mean... Paycation. A lot of people use... Uh, <laughs> a lot of people use the term pyramid scheme to, to describe something that's called network marketing. Network mm-hmm. marketing is a viable business plan as, uh, you know, it's considered legal, and a pyramid scheme is a scam that is illegal. Now, um, I get how... There are some similarities between these things and why people use these terminologies. I just want to make sure that we're clear that uh, a pyramid scheme is not, as I understand it, not necessarily um, refer to the illegal illegal activity called a pyramid scheme. Yeah, some network marketing companies are very, very cautious to legally avoid being considered a pyramid scheme, but sort of skirt that definition as much as they possibly can. Yeah, I have no idea. Now, you have some experience having really done network marketing. I've I, never gotten I do. into it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how did that go for you? Very poorly. <laughs> how much did you sell? Uh, not much at all. I <laughs> spent mostly. I, sp- I think I spent around six grand at the end of all when all was said and done. And so you bought a lot sell. of stuff and sold yeah. nothing. That's usually how it works with network marketing. They want you to be on the product or to have the product, whatever it is that the product happens to be. Of course, Amway is one of the more well-known names, but there are a zillion of these uh, companies out there selling everything from you know candles to uh, pills to magnetic mattresses yes in your case magnetic <laughs> mattresses <laughs> so yeah. anyway i was 19 at the time yeah well i think that i think you can learn a lot from them it as was far a as learning sales, experience but i think i could have probably gotten a better sales training if i spent six thousand dollars on sales training rather than product <laughs> agreed <laughs> i did i did but get a lot of their tapes though wouldn't have had a net, then you wouldn't have had a, a magnetic mattress that's true Going on, um, you know, he says, my question is, do you make, uh, what do you make of this opportunity scheme? I have no idea. Depending on how you look at it. And ultimately, should the government make these pyramid schemes illegal to protect those of us who are not lawyers and can't always see through the BS? Or are we left alone to decide who is selling snake oil or not? Uh, Well, the latter. I mean, you know, the government shouldn't make these things illegal. Buyer beware. In this case, the buyer would be you buying this opportunity. Uh, They're selling this. They're pitching this idea to you that you will become a diamond distributor and you'll make millions of dollars and you'll get boats and houses and cars. And yeah, uh, they they will absolutely do that sort of thing. I mean, they have conventions where they do that. If it sounds too good to be true. In a free society, what you would have is, and unfortunately, this is what we have now is like, who do I turn to to find out whether or not I should trust this organization? I'm going to turn to the United States government to find out for me. I'm going to trust them. Well, see, in a in a private society, you wouldn't have the, an agency of force to have to turn to. What you turn to is more like a consumer reporting agency to find out whether or not you should trust certain travel agents or whatnot. You'd have ratings bureau bureaus. And not enough people even turn to the Better Business Bureau, but like there would be private organizations that would be much more, I think, fleshed out than they are now. and uh, Well, Consumer Reports better. is huge, and right. people turn to it all the time. Um, but I would agree with you that in a free market, people would have to turn to these sort of agencies, that these uh, rating agencies, far more often. I mean, right. right now, there are all kinds of legal scams, and people fall for them because they think the government's protecting w- them from scams. I want to find out how you guys address the moon bat concern, which is uh, essentially like, ah, if we have rating agencies, companies will just buy them off. Their rating agencies will be useless in a libertarian society. Everybody will That's be ridiculous. screwed because they'll just buy off the ratings agencies. Let's come back with that here. And your experiences with network marketing or pyramid schemes, whatever you want to call it. Free Talk Live. 
The polar vortex is here and expected to freeze over part of the U.S. Help is needed. Resources are often drained by people capable of caring for themselves, leaving those with the greatest needs to go without. Do your part by being prepared this winter. A supply of Go Foods will provide delicious nutrition, comfort, and security during hard times. Protect your community and call Go Foods at 1 800 648 9753 or on the web at www.storefoodnow.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $50 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $50 price only lasts through the end of June, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live. You can talk about whatever's on your mind. Network marketing on the table for discussion tonight. There's somebody who is concerned with a possible scam, or at least something they set sounds kind of scammy to them. And a lot of these network marketing companies certainly have that feel to them. Um, there's a lot that can be said on this topic, and we can continue that discussion. But you can also bring up anything that you would like to discuss. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and we've got Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. I'd like to bring up 
Sherry's Berries. Ooh. Yeah, they are delicious. And it is Mother's Day. And so Sherry's Not Berries, uh, well, I mean, it's it, Mother's There's Day is coming. A couple coming. weeks out. Yeah. So it's coming, and uh, it's Mother's Day time, time to plan for it, yep. because you don't want to be caught flat-footed on Mother's Day. Um, you know, Mothers like attention paid to them on Mother's Day. Uh, that's absolutely the day to, to get that done. Gifts are a good idea, um, and I think Sherry's Berries is an awesome supplement to, uh, to your gifts. What you can do, what's that? Sunday, May 10th. It's coming up. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, the second Sunday of May. Got it. Always the second Sunday of May. And you, what you can do is you just go to berries.com and order them. They're 20 bucks for Sherry's Berries, and you can double it for $10 more. Now, we uh, Sherry's Berries advertises with us every Mother's Day because, well, our listeners deliver. They know that they, the Sherry's Berries are great. What they are is milk, white, and dark chocolate. Um, they're berries that are dipped in milk, white, and dark mm-hmm. chocolate. And they're premium berries. They're always sweet. Not like the ones you get in the grocery store where half of them are sour. Uh, Sherry's Berries actually tosses out a bunch of berries, and they send them to homeless shelters or, or whatever uh, where they are. Um, so they, they reject the, the bad berries and take yep. the good berries. Not exactly sure how they do it, but they have a system. And it's awesome. Uh, they, they are some of the best things you're ever going to put in your mouth. And I love them. I can't wait till we get ours. I think it's going to be tomorrow or today or Ooh. something like that. Soon, uh, Sometime very soon. I'm excited. Berries.com, B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. You click on the microphone in the top right-hand corner, type in F. TL and you can get over 40% savings on the retail price. That's $20 for Sherry's Berries and double it for $10 more. Go to berries.com and the microphone in the uh, upper right, click FTL. Love it. I'm a huge fan of Sherry's Berries. They are awesome. I'd always heard about them for years on talk radio and now they're on board with Free Talk Live. And so please, again, don't Get to put in code FTL when you're at berries.com. Yeah, if you uh, you know if you end up using one of those other uh, other radio talk show hosts, the status win. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right, let's go to your phone calls and thoughts here. We've got libertarian banker calling from he won't say. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey guys, how's Hi. it going tonight? What's on your mind tonight? Hey, you want to talk about Bitcoin? All right. Um, uh, I wanted uh, back when um, credit cards first came out, and uh, uh, credit card companies wanted consumers to adopt them. What they had to come up with was a way to d- resolve disputes uh, with the card, mm-hmm. and uh, that's one thing that I think Bitcoin uh, is lacking. And if if um, you know if some organization, because an insurance company or whatever it is, to uh, handle disputes and refund transactions. Uh, that Bitcoin will still be used as a speculative investment rather than a currency. And uh, as I said last time I called, I'm a big uh, fan of Bitcoin, and I want to see it succeed, but that's one area that I think is lacking. I disagree. I wonder what your thoughts were. Yeah, I disagree. So um, the you know Home Depot, where I, I don't know whether they're the ones that just sort of uh, spearheaded this, but it's where I experienced it. When I was younger, um, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Uh, it was difficult to return a product. When I was 18, 19, uh, you know, uh, in high school or whatever, and you want to return a product, it was hard. You had to go through this sort of process and deal with the manager and get treated like a, some kind of criminal. Hmm. But... Um, you know, when if I go to Home Depot, I can bring in something that uh, you know I didn't use. It doesn't even have to be in its original packaging necessarily. Um, it's like, yeah, you know, I bought this, I didn't use it, uh, I'd like to return it, and they just take it back. It's not because of credit cards that Home Depot does th- d- did that. It's a unique selling proposition. All right, people pay cash still, yeah, and they yeah. can still return. Yeah, well, I, I guess uh, what I meant, maybe I wasn't clear, is that uh, you know, if somebody steals your credit card number, the you can't will steal a Bitcoin number. That. Bitcoin is, but, but somebody the, could scam you out of it and misadvertise something sure. and uh, you know mislead you, and and that's you know that's the, the protection that credit cards offer. Your not credit cards, but Visa, Mastercard, and the bank. Yeah, well, buyer beware. I mean, look, if you've been scammed, that's not the payment processor's fault. And if the credit card companies are offering that but, service, but you Bitcoin, have to remember that Bitcoin it works the other direction, where people will sure. use chargebacks with credit cards to scam merchants as well, right? So you do realize that the reverse happens. Yeah, but my point was this: Bitcoin wants to become a legitimate tra- uh, currency, 
it needs to have something like that because that's what consumers expect. Well, that's a, so, if, it, that, if it wants to be a legitimate payment processor, I suppose yeah, you could that, make that, that claim because it's a you know there's no currency that has guarantees on protections for the consumer sure, sure. out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, not the Taiwanese someone, bot, not the uh, you know the drachma or whatever. If somebody on the street offers me a Rorex watch and uh, <laughs> and I go ahead and buy it with cash then that's my fault and it is not the cash's fault and the cash does not need but to now have he's some talking about but he's backtracked it and now he says yeah, it's a payment what i mean is, yeah yeah legitimate transactions where consumers are using it to buy goods and services just like they are credit cards nowadays if if credit cards didn't refund things people would go back to cash or they'd find some other payment option that would ensure their transactions so, so PayPal, libertarian like banker, I would say that credit cards have this niche. Credit cards already screw the hell out of retailers in, in favor of the uh, purchaser mm -hmm. all over the place. So what Bitcoin does is it steps into the marketplace, offers a unique selling proposition, which is to say it puts the uh, it, it puts the, the the power of the refund in the hands of the retailer as opposed to the uh, uh, the, the buyer, and um, you know that's something new. You don't want to continue. You're, you're not going to have success by doing the same thing that's been done before. This is something new. So this is, I say, a direction to Correct. go. Retailers okay, are going to yeah, really it, love it, this. It's good, good niche. I, I get your point there. Right. It's if retailers niche, adopt this, if, if retailers, if if they adopt this, they benefit because they don't have to pay the percentages that they have to pay to credit card fees. So you can take sure. Bitcoin for next to zero fee, but, but which means. It, Consumers drive payments, not retailers. That, it's it's a good argument. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. And I'm a consumer, consumer and drive. I use Bitcoin whenever I get the opportunity. I exactly. use Bitcoin at the consumer. You're, you're, not, you're not 100 million other people. <laughs> Well, everybody has to start somewhere, right? And uh, the more companies right. take Bitcoin, the more likely consumers are going to be interested and ask the question, well, what is Bitcoin? They've, you know, maybe they've heard about it now, probably not, but you know, maybe they've heard about it now and the more businesses start putting up logos and start announcing that they're taking Bitcoin, the more likely consumers are going to take the time to look into it. And then the consumer might realize like uh, at overstock.com, for instance, that they can get a discount for paying with Bitcoin. And maybe for them, yeah. that discount is worth not having the that's fact what, that they can charge back. That's the trick. Uh, Bitcoin needs to, because it is a deflationary currency, retailers who are already adopting it. Libertarian bankers write that adoption from uh, retailers is, you know, from sellers is happening. Adoption from buyers isn't happening as quickly. So he's absolutely pointing out a problem, and I think he's correct on that. I don't know if his solution is right or not. I think that this, this um, that well, one can... Well, think of Think of an insurance company. I mean, it could be as simple as that. You just buy an insurance policy that insures your transactions, and then they resolve the dispute. They either give you your money back, or they, you know, prosecute the other person, or whatever. So I think it's a fine idea. Sounds like a yeah. hassle to me. I don't want to have to buy insurance on my cash. Well, then you'll, you'll lose your Bitcoin, then, Ian. No, I won't. <laughs> How am I going to lose my Bitcoin? Uh, if if somebody scams you out of it, you won't have. Well, buyer beware. Up. Again, I'll take responsibility for my own actions. I've never once had to use a chargeback process on uh, on anything out there, and I don't Im imagine the average person does either. I mean, it, it happens often enough to where people are scamming the businesses. I, I would I would bet that more people use chargebacks to scam the merchants uh, than merchants are scamming that's customers. The, hey, that's true. That is true. Because that if you true. are a merchant and you start scamming people, then the Visa and Mastercard are going to shut down your account. So thanks for the call tonight, Banker. I appreciate it. Toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. If you've got some Bitcoin, you want to send some. Maybe you're freaked out about Bitcoin and you want to get rid of them all. Just go to bitcoin.freetalklive.com. We'll take them off your hands for you. Send them on into they the... They will be no problem to you any longer. The tip jar. And then you can relieve yourself with all the cash that you want. And uh, we're, we're not going to give you cash for your Bitcoin. We'll just take them from you. Bitcoin.freetalklive.com. But you have to send them to us. Be nice. It's Free Talk Live. We're coming up. <laughs> New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine Freedom Scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. When the leading antihistamine and Nasacort go nose-to-nose, 
Nasacort wins, stopping more of the chemical responses that can cause your nasal allergy symptoms. And when you stop more causes, you get 24-hour relief from sneezing, an itchy runny nose, even congestion. It's prescription-strength medicine available over-the-counter. Nasacort Allergy 24-Hour. Stops more of what makes you miserable. Use as directed. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary. Not a solicitation for legal services. Cato University is the Cato Institute's premier educational event of the year. It's being held this year from July the 26th to the 31st at the Cato Institute's state-of-the-art headquarters in Washington, D.C. This annual program brings together outstanding faculty and participants from across the country and often from around the globe, with everyone sharing a commitment to liberty and learning. Cato University is a genuine community, and you can freely share viewpoints, concerns, ideas, questions, and more in an atmosphere of friendship and personal respect. It's a one-of-a-kind program for people who don't stop thinking after they got out of school. It's for people who don't want politicians or bureaucrats or officials to do their thinking for them. It's for people who value liberty. You'll learn, you'll be inspired, you'll make new friends, you'll meet great people from around the world. All of the details are spelled out at the Cato website, cato.org, and they hope to see you there this summer, July the 26th through the 31st in Washington, D.C. Again, details are at cato.org. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at africa.lrn.fm. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. africa.lrn.fm. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. We're back with more Free Talk Live. You are invited to join us here toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855 450 3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com. The features are free on the site, and if you like Free Talk Live and what we're doing here, you can help support the show by shopping with us. You go to shop.freetalklive.com and enter the uh, Amazon links that you'll find there. There's Amazon UK, Amazon Canada, and Amazon US. You just go into the right Amazon for you, and Free Talk Live will get a cut of the sale. It is that simple. And so go and get your shopping taken care of over at shop.freetalklive.com. As we go back to your phone calls and thoughts, let's go to Jerry listening in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, to Talk Radio 850. Hey, Jerry. Hi. Hey, welcome. You were saying that uh, network marketing has a scammy feel to it? Some of it does. Yeah, I wouldn't say all of it's a scam, but some of them are more questionable operations than others. Absolutely the truth. There have been over 6,000 of those sorts of companies that have come and gone since the 1930s when the industry was founded. 
And well, you could probably say the same gone. thing about restaurants. I mean, just because uh, you can probably say even, can. even more restaurants have probably failed than a few but, thousand. But as a percentage, uh, I would say that you're probably talking about a an, an industry where – you know, there's more prosecutions. There's uh, That's probably true. more people who are left feeling really ripped off. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, and Jerry. if you do your homework, if you do your homework, you'll be able to find your way into. If you want to do it, into a quality program. My wife and I have been involved in the Amway opportunity for the last two decades, and I can tell you some of the parameters to look for if somebody's interested in knowing them. But uh, it basically comes down to this: if you're paying a lot up front, don't do that. Don't go go somewhere else. If somebody's making you promises about something, go somewhere else because you can't promise the future. Mm-hmm. And you know guarantees or what have you. Nobody can guarantee the future. And if uh, if, if uh, it, it looks to you like um, there, there's not a retail customer base as well as a wholesale yeah um, customer base, it's really go important. Else, it's, an, it's an illegal operation. And when you say that, what do you mean? Can you elaborate a little bit when there's not a retail customer okay, base versus a wholesale? Just, just, just as an example, with the Amway Opportunity, I'm a, I'm a wholesale uh, consumer as well as a distributor, okay? And when I sponsor, let's say I sponsor you, you become a wholesale consumer as well as a new distributor. And my obligation to you is to help you learn how to work, work this business properly. One of the things we must do in order to maintain our legitimacy as a business is to have a certain amount of customer volume that's retail-based. What that means is that uh, I offer both the opportunity and sample products to people. They decide, no, I don't want the opportunity. Boy, these products are awesome. How much do they retail for? And I just simply smile and say, you know, this is what I can do for you. Uh, I'm in my own business, so I can be flexible on what I charge. But there's a retail base, there's tax collection to be done and, and pay that to the sales tax to the right people. And we help a lot with that. They have a big program to help with that. And uh, if you do not have that retail base, a certain percentage of your business being a retail based uh, business, you're not in business. Yeah. You're in a wholesale buying club or some other kind of some actual scam that's going to rip people off. It's illegal mm-hmm. to get out of there. Um, Interesting. And, uh, by the way, the biggest scam out there uh, by the standards that are applied against this industry, guess what it is? Social Security. (laughs) It's a Ponzi scheme that ought to be illegal but isn't. Well, yeah, if anyone else did what Social Security does, it would be illegal and you'd go to prison for a long time. Bernie Bernie Madoff went to jail for that. Jerry, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate it. Thanks for your call. Uh, Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So there's somebody who works in the network marketing business saying, you know, hey, beware. Yeah, what he's saying is extraordinarily important. What you have to ask yourself before you get into any business is, is this a viable business? So you you sit down, and in the case of Amway, uh, I don't know what the pricing's like, but certainly having the things that you use in life delivered to your door is going to really work for some people, Mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, awesome, I don't have to shop anymore. Whereas um, some people want to go shopping because they want to see the other things that there are at the store or whatever, that's what they want to do. It's not that big of a deal. But some percentage of the population is going to want to do that. I don't know what the costs are involved as far as the shipping and things like that. I have no clue. But um, it you have to look at it and see if it's a viable um, solution. You know, in the case of uh, the one that you did, you know, you have to ask yourself, are magnetic mattresses going to be a seller? <laughs> and, you know, I mean, with the right... They had a bunch of other products, too, just so you know. They have consumables and things like that. But for the right person, um, you know, the the right person that can sell it, it might be the right product. Like, this is a deal because I truly believe magnets create better health. But if you don't believe that magnets create better health, you're going to be a poor salesman for that or salesperson for that. So, um, you know, that's that's kind of the issue when you go into these things. Uh, One that somebody presented to me was selling sort of nutritional supplements and things like that. And I was looking at the pricing on that. And I'm like, there's no way I would do this. I can get better prices like this by going to the store a lot better. So I didn't want to do it. That's a good chunk of the network industry. Is... Because they have to support the overhead. They yeah. have to support that upline, I think is what they call it. That's right. Each distributor that is above you in the upline gets a chunk of each sale that their downline distributors make. And so that's what a lot of the pricing uh, is now of course they'll have all kinds of claims about why their pills are the best pills you know like oh those pills you get in Walmart are cheap and they don't work well or something yes. like that 
And who and knows what the truth is? I don't know that. what the truth on that is, but I'm skeptical of that particular claim. Yeah. Because if the product was so great, why isn't it in the store? There are lots of great products in the store. Why do they, um, you know, why do they keep it that way? Of course, the uh, the con the the obverse to that, I guess, is the is Avon. Now, Avon makeup company. Yeah, yeah. They, they used to they used to sell network marketing. So did but, Tupperware. Yeah, but then they went retail. And that essentially undercuts all the people that were doing that business. That's true. Some people still manage to do it, but it, it, it can be very difficult to run Do they run still your... have a network in, in side of their business? I think so, uh, yes. My, uh, one of my ex-girlfriends was involved in, I think it was, what, what's it called, the Body Shop. This is a, a store in the mall, uh -huh. basically, that sold, sold candles and like scented things for okay. girls. And, uh, and then they, uh, they, so they had a store in the mall and they also have, they have a network marketing business as well. And they managed to make them both work, I guess. I huh. guess. So. I didn't know the body shop even had like a marketing business. Yep. Yep. Exactly. I only knew about the mall, you know, the mall locations or whatnot. Right. That was what I've seen I'm, them everywhere. I mean, well, that's, I think probably one of the reasons why their network side works well too, because it right. is a recognizable brand. And so it might make it a little bit easier to pitch that hmm. product in, in a network marketing format. Libertarian Wanker is calling from the Keen Activist Center. <laughs> You're on Free Talk Live. Johnson, the reason why you never hear anybody laugh out loud oh. like you do so often. Uh, the reason why nobody give us a good laugh. laugh. Come on. With you. Come on, give us a good laugh. I want to hear you laugh. That's funnier than anything you ever said, by the way. You're not a funny it's guy. It's funny. It's a laugh. I love how you interrupt. <laughs> You wouldn't interrupt anybody Why else. Why you laughing? You're right. I wouldn't John. because I don't. I would have <laughs> respect on. for other people. Johnson, settle down. If so, Johnson, folks, so, so folks know here. This on is James from Arizona, and he's playing a little joke. Go ahead, James. You're not funny, but you can tell the truth for once in your pathetic life, Minister Edge. And admit with me, Johnson Rice is not funny at all. All right. Do you have anything else but to anyway, say? Yeah. By the way, I called in to disagree, but I know that my time is limited. It because is. Because you guys don't. So you is like ours. Posting. We'll be hey, on until. Edge, you like posting? You like posting nasty things about me online. And speaking of Facebook like pictures, page, you mean your own quotes? Over a year. And speaking of space, Facebook pages, Mark Edge, stop freaking is fascinating. I see no hate on that site at all. Oh, cute. Can I continue, Johnson Weiss? No. Thanks for the call. <laughs> 855 450 free. Uh, Mark, you were trying to say who that was, but he was kind of yammering over top of you. Yeah, that's that's James in Arizona. And, yeah, you know, he wanted to get on the air and, and yik yak. So that's fine. I well, mean, he could I don't have just think, called under his own name. Yeah, I don't think Johnson should have interrupted him so quickly. You should you should let him get a well, chance to why? get his blather guy, out. The, well, okay, so the reason you don't interrupt him is because there's people coming on to the show constantly oh, new people. who, who yeah, don't understand sure. that this guy is a raging lunatic a-hole that threatens people's lives, right? Right. The posts he's referring to, Mark, about you posting on the internet are quotes from him that he sends to us via our Skype. He will likely be sending some here in a few yes. moments. They'll be, uh, <laughs> he'll be prattling on about our deaths. And well, mostly you. He really, really likes to talk about you. Dying. Well, that's because I have reacted to it, right? Like, so he wants to do that. And mm. what he doesn't understand is I am going to call the police on him as soon as he steps just over my line. Which, you know, what would that be? I'm not sure exactly. I don't need to have a line. He's he's gone over the line of what is legal already. Well, you'll see him coming from a long distance away with those ears of his. Has he gone over the line <laughs> of what's cruel. legal? I have big ears. <laughs> because, I mean, he hasn't actually threatened you, right? Like, he sort of dances around it and suggests that he wants to see you die or that uh, he will celebrate your death or whatever, but that he hasn't actually said that he was going to do yep, that. There is one quote that I have on there. You can go uh, oh, really? read them um, that uh, certainly sounds like that's what he's saying. Where do you go to read those? It's uh, things James Witt says on Facebook. You, you better be careful, it. Mark. He's going to fly in from above and snatch you up and fly off with you. Okay. Like a pterodactyl. <laughs> There's more on the way. Another, your joke. You That's can nice. share your thoughts. <laughs> 855-450 free. Have you been in network marketing? How'd that go for you? Kid, this facility is like a ship. So how do I keep us on course without micromanaging every detail? Easy. With Granger. Granger's online tools help give me the visibility I need. I can shop, order, and manage all our activity. Oversee purchases, control costs, all while you guys get to order what you need when you need it. I run a tight ship, kid. I run it with Granger. Get it? Got it? Good. Learn more at Granger.com slash online purchasing. Granger, for the ones who get it done.
Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state. Or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com the three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, April 30th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.70 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,207 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $234. Antiwar.com reports one of the first in a flurry of proposed amendments to a deal to give Congress oversight on the P5 plus 1 deal with Iran. The Barrasso Amendment failed yesterday in the Senate by a vote of 54 to 45. The amendment would have conditioned any sanctions relief in the deal on the president certifying that Iran is not supporting acts of terrorism. A number of similar proposals as well as some aimed to tie the deal to Iran endorsing Israel as a Jewish state have not yet been addressed. Such amendments are facing flack, both in the form of a White House threat to veto the deal if it includes such amendments that would undermine the talks, and from Senate leaders who have warned that some of the more bellicose amendments amount to poison pills aimed to cut their veto-proof majority and kill the deal outright. The next amendment likely to come up is from Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri and aims to tie the deal to Iran releasing a handful of American prisoners, including Robert Levinson, who it isn't even clear if Iran has as a prisoner. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports California Governor Jerry Brown announced legislation on Tuesday that would increase fines up to $10,000 for the worst water wasters, up from the current fine of $500. The Democratic governor also proposed to further empower the ability of cities and counties to issue fines, warnings, and citations. He made the announcement after meeting with 14 city mayors. The steep fines would be only for the worst offenders, according to Brown. Brown said after the meeting with mayors, we've done a lot, we have a long way to go, so maybe you want to think of this just as another installment on a long enterprise to live with a changing climate and with a drought of uncertain duration. Brown also announced he is directing state agencies to speed up environmental reviews of some water projects. The announcement on Tuesday strengthens Brown's efforts to combat California's fourth year of drought. Lawmakers in California will now negotiate with Brown on the proposed legislation. Brown defended his executive order signed in early April implementing mandatory water restrictions that largely left the agricultural community untouched. Only 10 fines have been imposed for excessive water usage by the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power since April 6th. 
For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports the U.S. Supreme Court ruled on Wednesday that states may bar judicial candidates from soliciting campaign contributions in a decision rejecting a Florida candidate's assertion that such limits violate the Constitution's guarantee of free speech. Conservative Chief Justice John Roberts joined the court's four liberals in a 5-4 to four decision that made it easier for states to regulate judicial elections. The ruling follows Supreme Court decisions in recent years lifting other campaign finance restrictions, but this affects only judicial elections and is unlikely to have a broader impact. The court ruled on Wednesday against Linnell Williams-Julay, who ran in 2009 for county court judge in Tampa. She objected when Florida's Supreme Court publicly reprimanded her for a mass mail campaign fundraising letter asking for donations of up to $500. She contended the ban on personally soliciting contribution, part of Florida's Code of Judicial Conduct, violated her free speech rights under the Constitution's First Amendment. The Florida regulation does allow candidates to set up committees that can solicit contributions on their behalf. William Julay ultimately lost the election and says she did not receive any campaign contributions. Roberts wrote on behalf of the court, judges are not politicians, even when they come to the bench by way of ballot, adding that a state's decision to elect its judiciary does not compel it to treat judicial candidates like campaigners for other political office. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. Gushing women voters announced Monday that they just can't help but feel an uncontrollable attraction to the sexist Republican Party. Saying they should know better but just can't resist the GOP's reckless neglect of women's health issues, smitten females across the country are reportedly driven wild by the GOP's blatant chauvinism. I can't say no to bold, misogynistic politicians who think their authority extends to my uterus. Whenever you vote for a Republican, you feel like you're doing something a little bit naughty. Top officials within the U.S. military acknowledged Wednesday that they were desperate to be given just one solid war they could really knock out of the park. Citing the recent string of messy, ambiguous military engagements in the Middle East, members of the Pentagon brass called for a conflict against a sovereign nation with a standing army and a clear-cut bad guy who employs conventional tactics and weaponry. No roadside bombs, no plainclothes militants fighting out among innocent civilians. Just a fair fight where two sides shoot at each other and someone wins. We're, we're absolutely great at that. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live. You are invited here to take control of the airwaves. Share with us your network marketing experience. How'd that work out for you? Uh, me, I threw a bunch of money down a hole. I learned a thing or two about sales in the process. but And a thing or two about scams. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say that the company was necessarily a scam because it's still around. But there are a lot of, uh, of these MLM, multi-level marketing, network marketing companies that have come and they've gone. But, and left a, a trail of destruction in their wake. So one of the things that I told you when uh, you approached me so many years ago, one of probably our first conversation, mm -hmm. if not our second, um, at the, uh, the radio station where we worked, I suspect this was 1999. Uh, was I just don't like the MLM model. I think that it what it's culty. It, well, I think that it I think it really uh, screws the 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 employee, the seller. Um, I mean, you know, like I mean the independent contractor. Well, yeah, whatever. whatever they are, uh, because essentially you go out and you do a whole bunch of work prospecting, and you get right. nothing for that initial time frame. The radio stations I worked for, they'd give you um, what they called a guarantee. Uh, guarantee, yeah, a basically. draw. Not a draw, a guarantee. Okay. Uh, a draw is uh, a draw against future commissions. But the nice thing about a draw is, is if things don't work out, you generally don't have to pay it back. Uh -huh. um, a, a guarantee is, is well, this is what we'll pay you for the first, say, six months while yep. you get your legs up underneath you, and uh, you know, do this, do this work, and that's. You know, it, it allows you to build the business, allows them to see whether you're going to work and, and that sort of thing. And 
you know, I just I feel like in so many cases, these MLM companies just take advantage of people who, um, you know, put a lot of work into marketing their company. And the disadvantage to that for the MLM companies is they don't get to control who their salespeople are. So before we move on too much into back into the the MLM thing, I, I want to bring something up because we had you know that arc that disruptive call at the end of the last hour, and uh, well to be fair, you disrupted him when oh uh, when yeah I interrupted in. him. I don't think yeah. I, I wasn't disrupting his show unless he's doing a show well, right it's now. It's not disruptive was... <laughs> to call a talk show that has open phones. I mean, I'm not going to consider. Sure. James to be a disruptive caller. Everybody can call in and talk well, about anything the they want. Well, isn't the point of a call to a talk He's show to hostile. interact with the talk show host? Which, that's not what he wants to do. He just that's wants to true. Call he just wants rant. to make statements. So that is a disruption. That's not a. He's well, not calling. It's in okay. To you can with... call in and make sure. a statement. It's just not going to last for very long. Which disruptions is why... are welcome on free talk. Well, which is why his, his call did not last. His for statement, long. his initial statement, his sort of thesis of his call was that I'm not funny, and I think that I'm pretty funny and i have a funny idea and the funny idea is that one of the things that came out in the doxing of uh james what kind is that uh he's been uh charged multiple times with dui so i think it would be mm. appropriate for our listeners to come up with a drinking game for his regular calls then he definitely wouldn't be a disruption then it would be fun then it would be fun so i think that we should have some callers uh, you know, uh, come up with some ideas. Our listeners should come up with some ideas for uh, what sorts of things that should be drank upon when uh, James calls. Well, uh, first off, I've got to say that uh, your idea, although funny, is cruel. Uh, but uh, I would say that one of the things that James... Comedy usually has a <laughs> It often is. Of, uh, what J James often does is he says, speaking of. So he'll uh, every time James says, speaking of, hmm. Take that's, a drink. That's, that's, that's a shot. Do you okay. think if uh, we said that every time he says the word minister, or is that just cruel <laughs> <laughs> to our listeners? They just drink the whole bottle. Yeah, well, he says that a lot. Well, here's what should happen. Um, you could post these online. Probably the best place would be the, the Amplifier Forum. The Amp Forum, but not everybody has access right, to right. that. Well, they can get um, access by going to amp.freetalklive.com <laughs> and amping the program. I mean, you know, if you want to be part of our fun little club, you can't do it for free. Mm, good point. <laughs> Maybe well, we'll have a drinking game about you. And there's always like, the Facebook page, too, you know. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, yeah, so go the to the Amp. The Facebook page is so big, I don't think that it would go anywhere. And a lot of people on the Facebook page I think it would know nothing everywhere. of what Free Talk Live is. That's yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. The amplifiers do know, and they, uh, you know, they support what we're doing. They're like and, a radio yeah. show. You want me to call in? I like to just say nasty things to people on the internet. <laughs> I don't want to back up my opinion with something on the air. I'm a big chicken. <laughs> I, I, I swear to God, the Facebook page, the trolls on there are a bunch of little cowardly chickens <laughs> well of course i mean that's why they you know hide behind their computer screens it's of so easy to type show. some snarky thing on the internet so hard to you know have a conversation and be account held accountable for the words that come out of your mouth <laughs> you know to james's credit at least he does call the show unlike you know the folks but from he Stop doesn't Freaking. address anything yes uh, it, he does have guts in that sense all right so our toll-free number is 855-450 free uh do you you can go to the AMP-only uh, forum on sure. the Facebook page, and someone will start a thread, I'm sure, about that. If not you, Johnson, somebody else sure, yeah, will do that. Um, and so, anyway, let's go back into, Mark, what we started with at the very beginning of the show, which was a, a Facebook message you had received yeah. regarding someone who was concerned about a possible scam on the Internet. Yeah, <laughs> mostly it's about— <laughs> Just it's the way a, you phrase that is very— <laughs> There's a possible scam <laughs> on the Internet. Yeah. Does I've it heard, involve a Nigerian prince? <laughs> like, <laughs> I've heard that some people on the Internet lie. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, basically what Tyler was asking here is, is, and people ask us all the time, is do you think the free market can solve this problem? The answer is yes, I do. Um, so, you know, let me give you some ideas. His question is, is um, my question is, is what do you make of these opportunities, these schemes, depending on how you look at it? And ultimately, should the government take these pyramid schemes and make them illegal to protect those of us who are not lawyers and can't always see through the BS? And the answer is absolutely. Absolutely what? They abs the, you know, absolutely the, uh, I, I support the free, I guess it's absolutely not. It sounded like you said yeah. absolutely the government yeah. should crack down. Absolutely not. Um, I think that what the best thing is, is that we would have agencies that rate the viability of companies out there to, you know, do some investigating. And that- We already would, have it. Yeah. It's called the internet. And you can just, if you're suspicious- of an opportunity, and you should be. Whatever opportunity is being presented to you, you should be skeptical and suspicious. And one of the best ways to find out what 
people besides the uh, distributors themselves or the company uh, thinks is to type the word scam in after the name of the company. So whatever the pitch is, in this case, it's a company called Paycation, which to me, just the name sounds like a, a you know, money extracting uh, group. So you just type the word scam in, you'll find all kinds of claims you guys to the contrary. You didn't answer my moon bat uh, concern here. My, you know, the, uh, well, we went to, we were going to break, I think, when you brought yep, that up. Yep, so what was, what was so the concern? It was, uh, you know, rating agencies are just going to be bought off. You capitalists just don't get it. They're, they'll be paid off by uh, the companies. And, you know, everybody has a price. And they're they just, will be. They won't be useful. They won't they be will, useful They will be paid off because, um, I mean, take a look at Standard & Poor's. Standard and Poor's was selling ratings, and they just got uh, scolded by the government for it. I Wasn't suspect Yelp doing that too. I, I don't know what whether Yelp was doing it or not. But the fact is, is that ultimately people want good information. So there's a niche in the marketplace. In an, if there's a niche in the marketplace, some will always, someone will always fill that niche. Now this is a big niche because everybody wants good information. Nobody wants to be ripped off. So. Age, you know, companies are going to have to walk that line between making money and, uh, you know, b b saying good things about things. For instance, Free Talk Live. We have this issue. We advertise things on this show. The safest route for us, for from an integrity standpoint, is to never endorse anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, because the the company can always mess up. The best product out there, the company can mess up and somebody will be upset and they'll go online and they'll, you know, type in free talk live scam. I'm sure you'll find something. Ultimately, that's our best choice. However, we have to balance that with making money. <laughs> Ian now, is doing this right now. <laughs> Ian's going to find out free talk live scam. <laughs> is there our own website comes up. When we <laughs> <visit> <laughs> of course it does. Because we talk about the scams news. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, you know, these are things that companies have. They have to walk the line, and the marketplace will punish those that don't walk the line well. And that's ultimately how it goes. So my answer to your Moonbat response, Johnson, is... What you're giving here as a, th a scary scenario for the future, if we have these ratings companies in the in the marketplace without the government yeah, around, I'm just devil's advocating, right? Um, really, you're talking about a situation that already exists today, in that the government regulatory agencies are already captured by right. the people in the marketplace who are in the That's top slots. That's <laughs> impossible, right? So, uh, you know, the uh, there's some recent cigarette regulations that went into play a few years ago. This was around the time when you quit smoking, Mark. Yeah. Uh, because they raised taxes and they increased regulations. Those were written by Philip Morris. You know, the the made major companies out there support regulation because they're in control of the regulatory boards and they always have been. Essentially, they call it regulatory capture. But but I, I don't like that term because it suggests that at some point that regulatory agency wasn't captured and that they were somehow you know doing a good job. But I, it's my suggestion that those guys are usually captured right from the get-go. They're populated by the people who want to protect themselves. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York Central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938.
Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Despite being objectively awful people, newly engaged couple Ross Bird and Jessica Black want their upcoming wedding to really reflect their personalities. We're pulling out all the stops to have a kind of wedding that just screams us. Yeah. We're going to have a bluegrass band playing 80s pop songs because Ross loves bluegrass, but I love 80s music. And then at the, uh, the end of the ceremony, uh, this is great, we're going to pass out sparklers to all the guests. Sources claim that a bunch of candles and mason jars and an Instagram photo booth will truly capture the essence of the insufferable pair. We didn't want some big stuffy ceremony. Yeah. It, no. should, it should feel more like a fun dance party yeah. with our friends. Because you know? the, uh, the night's about us, yes, but I mean it's also you know about the people who make us us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And those people love us exactly for our uniqueness. Sources hoped with every fiber of their being that these two would be divorced within a year. This is the Onion News Network. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. I want to tell you about a new way to... Hey, Glenn Beck, you're not supposed to be on this radio show. Uh, this is Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us on Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. Network marketing Are you is... suggesting that Glenn Beck is a multi-level marketer? No, 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 no. no. I accidentally pulled up uh, a website here, and he's at the top of it. But uh, anyway, we're talking about network marketing, and our emailer here, our Facebook messenger, is asking, should there be some government involvement? Should they be cracking down uh, on this industry? And by the way, there's a lot of government involvement in the network marketing industry. There are a number of uh, lawsuits against network marketing companies, many of them brought by state's attorneys, uh, you know, alleging that they're Ponzi schemes and scams and things like that. So there's no shortage, actually, of governmental involvement in this industry. Actually, I just want to mention something real quick. Uh, speaking of, uh, just because you happen to bring up Glenn Beck, and he's on the radio every day when I go to work. And mm -hmm. I was thinking of just... Scam marketing comes to mind when I heard it because I was listening and on the show today they were saying, well, you know, I've just been getting more and more libertarian and, you know, you get libertarian and when you become libertarian, it's just like, you know, you just, you, you get more and more degrees of it. And they were t just talking about libertarianism, sort of like I've heard many libertarian shows and people talk about libertarianism in the past. And the, the difference was, is I felt that there was just a ring to it of they're just saying this because they heard other people say it. It's sort of like that, you know, the old saying, if, uh, you know, what's the difference between a libertarian and an anarchist about six, six months, months, you know, I've heard seven years, but okay. <laughs> but, you know, um, essentially it just, it, it struck me as this isn't being said because they actually believe it, but because it's something that they've heard other people say, and they're trying to copy, 
uh, libertarian ideas and speaking. And I don't think so. I do. I, I think that Glenn Beck has been getting progressively libertarian throughout the years. I think I so, too. I certainly hope so. I mean, he is friends with— But it's taking him forever. He is yeah. friends with <laughs> Penn Jillette, but I will say, unfortunately, it seems like Glenn Beck is maybe also rubbing off on Penn Jillette. Oh, is and that he's right? getting less libertarian. <laughs> Well, I, I heard I did I hear an know. interview with him where he, uh, uh, he he missed an opportunity to take a libertarian position. Who, Penn or Glenn? Penn um, on uh, the the gay marriage thing. Yeah, he is yeah. real. Like that is kind of a gross position. Is I mean, it, it's compassionate. I don't know. But it's I think, also kind of liberal. I think that Penn probably never really was a principled libertarian. I think he was just sort of a media, a media libertarian. <laughs> you know, like you know, like libertarian because he's more libertarian than anything else. But not real libertarian as in principled. Uh, he seems pretty principled to me. I mean, all really? the stances okay. I've ever heard come out of him in the past. You know, uh, you well, know. I don't Other know. this one recently, everything else I've ever heard out yeah, of him is he staunchly own, principled. He also has his own show now, and that gives you more of an opportunity to sure. hear more of his opinions, right? But like his if show he's just, is primarily based on atheism and talking about, you know, atheism, not really. Not really. Irritated. There's a lot that goes on It's called on Penn show. Sunday School. I understand that, but <laughs> I, most of the time when I'm listening to it, I don't hear them talking about atheism. Yeah, that's true. I'm always befuddled as to nonsense. why atheists really think they're going to make the world a better place by getting rid of people's belief in religion. It just it doesn't make much sense to me. Well, they feel like they uh, – okay, I can well. speak because I used to be an atheist. Um, that I, th I would say that – and Johnson uh, might still be an atheist. Yes. More of an agnostic, but – atheist no kind of. I'm, i've always really been an atheist it depends on who i'm talking i used to, to be an I, atheist too whether or not i tell them i'm an agnostic i would say that the atheists feel like their life is better because they're an atheist and so like because they're of people, living a life that isn't a lie for them they don't believe in god so therefore now they're not living as a life that yeah. they don't believe in so, that is a better life like the, a lot of the people who have religion and feel their life is better for that they want people to have their religion and so they can have that same experience the atheists want the people to have a similar experience with that they've been having it's I really also, very Similar I also feel like way. it's something like, oh, it's, and this concept, I'm going to bring up a concept, and the concept has to be expanded beyond this. So the concept is just an example. So let's say you're staring at a, a lamp, right? This is from a YouTube video, this example. So let's say you're staring at a lamp, and the lamp stage shade starts moving, right? If you believe in supernatural things, you might say, that lampshade is being moved by a ghost, if you don't believe in that kind of nonsense, you are going to be open. You're, you're going to be actually more open-minded, and you're going to like look. Th let me consider all the consequences here. What would move a lamp? Oh, there's a heater on the floor, and you reach down, you turn off the heater, and you go, "Oh, it wasn't a ghost." I don't believe in ghosts, and if that doesn't mean you're being closed-minded, you're open to all the possibilities, and you you know you're not so open-minded that your brain falls out. You realize the <laughs> rules of the world and the existence that you're living in, and you go, "Oh, physics." suggests that there is something moving the lampshade. Let me see what that is. Oh, it's not magic. It's hot air rising and, you know, moving this thing. And so I feel like there's a better life to be had there by just getting rid of the magic in your life. And, and like, let me learn and actually not be lazy all the time with my ideas and uh, not just say, it's the baby Jesus and God and blah. Yeah. You know, like, you don't need that. To be moral either and i think a lot of people make that mistake too it's like i can't be moral i would just be stabbing people mm. and I'm raping so glad. everyone this is how atheists monopolize every conversation to be about the crap they believe in because you know now i have to go in this long tirade as to why this is bull crap so what's um, bull crap he's characterized everybody out there who believes that there's a god as some nut who thinks when they see <laughs> a lamp moving that it's not a heater in the room no the vast majority of people who believe in a god are going to look around and wonder why is this an earthquake is it the heater is it uh, has the air conditioner kicked on what is the reason for this lamp moving around and they will handle the problem the same way that any other rational person some of which are atheists will um so this is the mischaracterization that goes on because there are some lunatics out there that think that ghosts move lampshades um or that every lampshade that moves is a ghost or whatever the the, the characterization is uh, this is this is why there can't be any give and take because 
both sides are making it, are, are creating straw men and then attacking the straw men. Okay, so what did I preface my uh, original thing? That it's going to take a say, while for you to, uh, no, you know, uh, to explain you this. You weren't listening, and that's like that is uh, another characteristic that I will attribute to the religious folks. I said this. <laughs> what I'm going to bring up is a concept that you're going to need to expand and apply in a broader fashion. And what I meant what there was okay, so is that I'd like this to address isn't that. necessarily specific to, to a lampshade and a thing, but that basically it comes down to a lot of people who are religious at some point say, I need to forsake reason because faith is is needed here. Okay, so uh, the the agnostic position of I don't know, I can live with. The uh, the position of the world was created by, say, the Big Bang Theory, I think is, a, is simply another faith-based uh, religious belief or belief. It's another faith-based belief that essentially has scientists acting as priests. I will never be... Uh, I don't have the time, energy, or inclination to ever be able to prove or disprove for myself as to whether all the matter in the known universe was compacted into an area the size of a softball and then blew apart 13 trillion years ago. There's That story sounds even more ludicrous than God made Adam and then made Eve out of his rib. I mean, that <laughs> that is more believable to me than all the matter of the hundreds of I billions of universes was compacted into the size of a softball and then blew apart and 13 trillion years later we got what we got. What about I, two, two different universes touching a, a right. two big giant I mean, at some point or another, another theory. It's just another crazy story. Alright, <laughs> let's come back with more here in moments. Uh, 855-450-FREE That's 855-450-3733 And I still want to come back around to this uh, paycation thing, this <laughs> multi-level marketing company. What are they all about? It's Free Talk Live. You take control. By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins. But did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your products and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit Promote.LRN.FM for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.LRN.FM. From network marketing to atheism, we will talk about whatever is on your mind at 855-450-FREE. That's where we've been so far tonight, at least a portion of it, uh, with you in the studio this evening. It's Ian. And Johnson. And Mark. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com, where the website is free. You can go and enjoy all the features there, uh, totally free at freetalklive.com. Also, these days, you probably have a smartphone. If you're an adult in the United States, over half of you have a <laughs> smartphone. And that means that you've most likely experienced... Are you suggesting that people who aren't, don't have smartphones aren't adults? Um, no, I would suggest <laughs> that uh, probably more people who are under the age of 18 likely have uh, smartphones, probably more so than mm. adults do. But adults in America, over 60%, uh, have smartphones. And that's, I think, numbers from last year. So it's probably right. even higher now. Uh, and anybody with a smartphone has experienced... Having a dead smartphone or a very near to dead before the day battery, is battery dead. yeah before the day is even half over kind of smartphone and the Pocket Power Plus can help solve that problem for you as well as charge your laptop and even in some circumstances it's so powerful it can jumpstart a car uh, it is a breakthrough in portable power technology it's the Pocket Power Plus wherever you are you can have this thing with you it literally does fit in your pocket or maybe you want to put it in your glove box, your briefcase, your purse. Take this thing with you wherever you go so you can have the power that you so need these days. It comes with a full accessory pack, which has most of the adapters that you might need, including the jumper cables. Plus, you can get the Pocket Power Plus for half price by going to PocketPowerPlus9.com. That's PocketPowerPlus9.com. And by the way, this thing's got a 100% yeah. money-back guarantee on it, I'd like to point out. Uh, and you can use coupon code FTL. You'll save even more. It's also one of those things where if you're a geek and you're shopping around, you're going to know that you need to look at the milliamps that uh, a battery, you know, how many milliamps, you know, milliamp what's hours. the cost, you know, how many milliamp hours the battery has. And it, yep. this is a good one. 12,000, I yeah. believe, is the, uh, the number amazing. that it has. It's really and, up there. And it's got the, again, it also has the connectors for a lot of these batteries that you can buy only have like the 5 volt USB output. This thing has a 19 right. volt for laptops, it's got the 12 volt for, uh, for jump starting cars. So it's really uh, versatile. It even has a flashlight on it. So PocketPowerPlus9.com. This thing could really come in handy for you. And again, don't forget coupon code FTL over there at PocketPowerPlus9.com. Plus, there's a 90-day guaranteed tough, 100% money-back guarantee. i got to say also, especially if you're a flyer, too, having that uh, that uh, laptop output. You know, you're oh, stuck yeah. on the plane, and if it doesn't have that power port, you know, you're on one of those old planes that doesn't have that, that power port, and you're like... Trying to watch a movie or, you know, do something or surf around if you if the plane has internet or, or you know, if you're trying to just write a, you know, do some work, get some work done and you're getting there and you're like an hour or two hours in your flight and suddenly your laptop's dying. Well, there's also the times worst. where if you're in a busy airport and you can't get to a plug either right. where there's 
people already in all the yeah. chairs. There's no plugs left available. Uh, so this thing can really come in handy. Anyway, uh, pocketpowerplus9.com. Our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. Uh, did you guys want to continue your atheist discussion? <laughs> it seemed that Mark. things were getting a little heated there, <laughs> and I'm not sure if you had... Uh, if you felt like either of you had finished your positions or whatever. Yeah, well, um, I I don't know. I mean, I've, I've got some things, wrap up things I'd like to say is I don't think atheism is going to save the world. And atheists I, are not very good multi-level marketers. They, they, <laughs> you know, they feel passionately about the things they feel passionately about. And I get that. But. At some point or another, you're not much different than the Jehovah's Witnesses who are pounding on my door. Like I have, I have. Except atheists don't go door to door. But you, they practically do. They, 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 they run in packs on the internet. Um, I wouldn't call that practically going door to door. Um, putting if up I a YouTube post something, channel or something. The internet I, doesn't wake me up on Saturday mornings. If I post something on my Facebook uh, page, I can almost guarantee some atheist will hop on uh, that's religious oriented. Oh, yeah. Will hop on and have that's something to say about it. You have a lot of atheist that. friends. What's wrong? with I you? I do, <laughs> but you know, my religious friends don't feel the need to hop on to uh, you know um, my posts and, and say those things. Well, there, just, there, there is some similarity between the evangelical atheist and an evangelical Christian, right? right. Like, and that's the point I'd like to make. Is at some point, look, I've assessed atheism for my for my life, and I, I have decided it is not for me. I truly searched my soul and realized that I believed in a God when I didn't want to. Well, I, you know, it's and I, again, I, uh, speaking of principal positions, Penn Jillette, I love his position on this, which is that he only respects uh, Christians, especially, and, and the religious people, if they're evangelical. Because think about the fact that, uh, you know, if somebody's sitting there thinking, you're going to burn in a fiery lake of hell. But I'm not going to do anything to save you. <laughs> but I don't believe that. But not all religious people have that subscription, sure. right. right? I don't believe in hell, and so therefore, I honestly believe that this is, you know, this is some kind of, uh, you know, maybe entertainment or teaching thing that uh, we as but spiritual here's question, beings do you believe in choose. heaven, and do you believe atheists are not going there? Because I don't know the what same principle would apply. I don't know what heaven and hell are precisely. I think these are old, antiquated terms to get people to behave. They're marketing terms for religion, they, right? That they wanted them to, uh, to behave, behave in the way. They they want people to. I Religion was basically developed as a system to keep people in line. It was, I don't know it was, that that's true. You, you know, the, the there are plenty hierarchy. of religions that don't have the really great systems that Christianity and Islam have for keeping people in line. There are lots of religions that don't have those same punishment. There are capri capricious gods in uh, you know all the Native Americans, uh, the, the the Norse gods, the the the, the uh, Romans, the Greeks. These people were capricious. They'd do whatever they want. They'd uh, sure. come after people like God and Satan came after Job. As a matter of fact, that's what uh, Judaism was like back then. I will tell you that Christianity and Islam are really great because they got the carrot and the stick going. They got the heaven, hell, uh, crime punishment thing for controlling people. They're excellent for that. And But I'm not one of those people. Right. Share your thoughts with us here. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. <laughs> Tyler is in Washington. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Tyler. Hi. How's it going, guys? Good. Go ahead with your thoughts, please. So um, I uh, I've got these friends on um, on Facebook who are becoming travel agents, and they're kind of posting it on Facebook about how Tyler. I actually they, uh, we uh, just talked about the same guy. <laughs> is this the guy we just spent like half the show talking he, about? Your... Yeah, you see the guy who sent you the message. <laughs> yes, he is. Tyler, tell us more for our listeners just tuning in. Oh yeah, you've well, been actually, basically I the subject of our entire show. show. Really? Yeah. Wow. Not oh, quite. That's kind of cool. I actually just got off work saw the Facebook message and thought I might see if I could throw my two cents in. All right. Um, so what's happening? Because we well, really didn't get a whole lot of detail. It was more of a question of should the government get involved, and uh, to that we said no. Uh, I did want to come back around to it, so I'm actually glad that you uh, brought it back up. So what's your experience? You've got friends who are involved in this, stu this stuff? Right. So I've got these friends who, uh, who will post on Facebook, um, you know, oh, making so much money, you guys should get in on this, contact me for details, and they post, like, pictures of their certificates saying certified travel agent, things like that. I want to see pictures um, so of their I, paycheck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? Um, and so when I started to look into it, I mean, it looks like a pyramid scheme. It looks like you make more money the more people you have becoming a certified travel agent, and mm -hmm. once you become a certified travel agent, you really just find that you get your own discounts um, to book your own travel, and then if you book other people's travel, you get a very, very small percentage of what they make, but then the more people you recruit, then the percentage of how much you would get if they were to book 
somebody else's travel gets increased. So really, it's how many people you have working under you. Um, mm-hmm. You're going to start making more money that way. Oh, sure. Yeah, now, that sounds sounds like right. a network marketing plan. Yeah. So, I mean, how familiar are you with these network marketing companies? Is this your first time really assessing this, Tyler? Right. And I've never looked into it before. And as soon as I saw this, I tried to warn my friend about it. And he was just like, no, you don't know what you're talking about. This is a great way to make money. Um and, have him scan a check. Uh, you know, I'd like I'll to just, take a have him take a picture of his check and uh, and send that over to you. I don't I don't believe it that he's making a bunch of money at it unless he is actually like a diamond distributor or whatever level. Um, it's incredibly difficult to make money at just network marketing in general. But I can't even imagine trying to network market travel agencies. I mean, yeah. we t- this is one of the things we pointed out at right. the very and, beginning of this show is that no one needs travel agents anymore. This is a, a dying industry that anyone thinks that they could get in and like you know become the new best travel agent in the area by doing this right. is and ridiculous exactly the, the first thing i said to him was uh you know this isn't the 90s anymore we don't need travel agents mm-hmm. um and uh he explained to me how they have access to their own special websites and Ooh. very exclusive and it's exclusive yada, 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 which i didn't <laughs> buy into but my question to you guys yeah. was um I, I consider myself a libertarian, but when I listen to your guys' show, which I love, um, you guys kind of push my boundaries, and I kind of feel like... Well, that's, that's what, what we job, like to buddy. do. Hang on, Tyler. We'll bring <laughs> oh, you yeah. back here in a moment. And I want to talk about this particular agency because I've been doing a little digging on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paycation is what they call themselves. It's Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine freedom scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins. But did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your product and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. Hey guys, Mark Claire here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the Morning Roar! That's right, every Monday to Friday we'll have a brand new edition of the Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media, or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view, along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at lionsofliberty.com. Advancing the ideas of liberty daily. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine freedom scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. We're back with more Free Talk Live. Plenty of time for you to call and bring up anything you want to discuss. Maybe you've been involved in network marketing, or uh, and, and maybe it worked out for you. Maybe you're a diamond distributor, or probably not, because you know, usually it doesn't work out for most of the people that get involved. Uh, in network marketing. So if you want to tell your story, you're welcome to join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And don't forget, we've got a website, and you can get interactive there for free at freetalklive.com. Of course, uh, we'd also like you to get behind the show financially with the AMP program. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. Five bucks a month, that's what it costs to get into the AMP program. And then you get access to the AMP-only call-in lines, AMP-only Facebook group, which is where the James Whittakind drinking game is going to be developed. Johnson, I saw you did already post I in did. there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're still waiting to see what rules our amplifiers come up with. So the AMP group's really cool. And there's some other perks as well. You go to amp.freetalklive.com. But that 5 bucks a month is actually invested into the show. It doesn't go uh, to pay Mark or myself. It's used to get Free Talk Live on more radio stations all around the country, bring new Internet listeners on board, expand our satellite footprint, and it's essentially – expand the message of freedom out there as far and as wide as possible. So if that's valuable to you, it's worth five bucks a month, please go to amp.freetalklive.com, learn more, get signed up there with any major credit card through PayPal, or use Visa or MasterCard right there on our website. That's amp, A-M-P dot freetalklive.com. Tyler. And, hmm. I was going to say, and the AMP group is, uh, group is actually on the internet, so I fully expect that because it's on the internet, someone's going to post, Johnson, James is right, you aren't funny, and this is stupid. So, <laughs> Well, whatever. Everybody's got their opinion. <laughs> Uh, so Tyler is back with us here in Washington. It was actually Tyler's um, mail or a Facebook message, Mark, that you read at the very beginning of the show that sparked the conversation about network marketing in the first place. And Tyler was not tuned in at the time, so he just happened to call in about the same thing, which is good because we I don't really feel like we finished that discussion, uh, you know, as happens on Free Talk Live. We'll get sidetracked by calls about various things. So I'm glad we're co- we've come back to it here. And Tyler, your question was about this uh, travel agency company that your friend is pitching to you, claiming he's making all kinds of money uh, on this. And maybe that claim is true. How well do you know this guy? Um, actually, we uh, we were really just work acquaintances. Um, uh, That's I usually not had- someone you'd want to call a friend, right? Like the work friends aren't real friends, <laughs> oh, in my experience. <laughs> do you have real friends, Diddy? <laughs> I think I do. Okay. Okay. Right. But- well, yeah. Uh, a lot, most okay, of the people you work right. with, that's all you have in common with them, right? And so once the work right. relationship ends, the relationship ends typically. How many work friends do you still keep regular contact with on a friendly basis, you know, 10 years later? Well, yeah, to clarify that is we were in the military together and he got out recently. Aha. Uh-huh. Um, so when he did, I mean, and that's, I think that's where I get the idea of being a friend is that we, you know, we, we shared a bond when we deployed together. We knew each other a lot better than we do now. Yep. Um you know, so um, and I do still keep in touch with a lot of the guys who uh, were pr- uh, prior Navy because for reasons like this is um, you know networking they'll, they'll contact me with stuff like this, but his just seemed kind of out of the park. So, um, you know, and I didn't look too far into this on my own after doing research because one, when I looked up this, it was called extreme travel. Once I googled that, two things happened. One is I noticed that the majority of it was the the company itself advertising itself through Google and then, you know, or not through Google, but the Google searches were just to the direct website. And then there was not, and the other thing was there was not a lot that 
that said anything against it. But what the sites that did, who did review it, blatantly called it a pyramid scheme. Once I started to read into those, mm-hmm. um, it made it sound like the whole thing didn't make a lot of sense, in which case I just you know, shut my mind off to it. No, now, it doesn't make you know, sense. I, and what we had earlier was a guy called in, actually it was an Amway distributor, uh, who called in to kind of give some warning signs about uh, network marketing companies that you should be aware of. And one of those is the monthly fee where they require that you buy a certain pr- amount of product. If it's, if it's a company that sells product, this isn't one of those companies. Uh, this this sells you know travel in theory or the business opportunity I, of selling I travel. I think they sell travel agency licenses. Uh, well, they'll certify you, Mark, I guess. For how much? That's a good question. But um, anyway, so if they require you pay a monthly fee to be a part of this scheme, then that's usually a red flag. And this company has that. They have a monthly fee that you have to pay to them just so you have the privilege of being one of their certified travel independent associate agents or whatever the heck they call it. They all have some sort of similar name like an independent this and that. Uh, and so you have to pay that fee. So I've actually pulled up, which is a, this is a great website, by the way, for those that want to research MLM, multi-level marketing companies, behindmlm.com. Whoever it is that's writing this website, maybe it's more than one person, but the, the stuff I've seen on it is very well researched. This person knows MLM. This is obviously somebody who's been involved in multi-level marketing, and they are really good at assessing the, you know, sort of the pitch for the business opportunity and, you know, what who's behind the company and what other companies have they also been behind in the past that have failed and now they've started another one because uh, there's a lot of these companies that just sort of come and go after they, you know, bring some people in, take their money, and then fold the operation. Uh, So here's the conclusion. After he kind of goes through this, and by the way, you asked Mark about uh, what this costs, the affiliate membership in Paycation. Now, Tyler, Paycation's related to this extreme travel, from what I understand, right? Okay, right, right. I saw that as well. So, Uh, Oh, and that was one thing I noticed when researching it is it describes that the, uh, the CEO or the owner of this company, what he'll do is he will open up multiple companies that will work with in conjunction of each other mm-hmm. and then close them down every uh, three to four years and then open up new companies. So yeah, that like, doesn't sound good. Yeah, yeah that's right. bad news. Right. Uh, basic now, membership. But, yeah, and I don't know anything about this company. I wouldn't. Most of what we talked about had little to do specifically with these companies. Basic membership in this well, group is uh, actually. I was just thinking, it sounds kind of great if you know he's on that kind of schedule. Figure out when he closes the one, and just be make sure you're on the ground floor when he opens up the next one. No, you don't <laughs> want to get involved in a scam. And then get out early. No, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> uh, basic affiliate membership twenty nine ninety five a month. Referral travel consultant affiliate membership is uh, nine ninety nine ninety five to start, and then fifty nine ninety five a month after that. And a certified travel consultant affiliate membership is one hundred ninety nine ninety five, and then fifty nine ninety five. A month after that, how much an affiliate pays and affiliate membership fees has a direct impact on commission eligibility and payouts, meaning that if you give them more money per month, then in theory you would get a larger percentage if you actually sold some travel, which how likely are you going to be to sell travel packages in a day and age when everyone can book their own travel online, which of course, Tyler, was your first objection when this you know, former uh, military guy that you knew started pitching this to you was, well, why the hell would anyone want to be a travel agent these days? Because right. who the hell uses travel agents? So I'm just going to jump into his conclusion because he sort of analyzes the the numbers of the business earlier and how the payout compensation plan works. He really gets into some detail on that. But the conclusion, I think, wraps it up nicely. He says, whereas it's nice to see travel commissions paycation make through their affiliate agreements shared with their affiliates, unfortunately, it's quite obvious that most, if not all, of the revenue generated by the company is going to be sourced from from their affiliates uh, at thirty nine ninety five a month or thirty nine ninety five to start and then thirty bucks a month. I think it's safe to assume that retail activity will be minimal to non existent within the company, meaning that they're selling the opportunity. They don't really have a, a product. They're just trying to sell this opportunity to people. Further supporting this is the fact that nearly all of the commissions and bonuses in their compensation plan revolve around affiliate recruitment and the payment of the monthly affiliate fees. Meaning that you as a distributor 
get paid every time your uh, your signups, your downline, if you will, pay their monthly fee. So if everyone's paying their monthly fee on down the line, then you'll do all right. But there's a reason why that doesn't work, and I'll explain that in a moment. How much an affiliate pays in fees does affect many of their commission payouts, and where they don't, affiliate recruitment quotas apply. In this sense, paycation is no different to the scores of collapsed multi-level marketing travel niche pyramid schemes that have come before it. The 10 to $25 commissions on recruitment of new affiliates alone drag paycation squarely into pyramid scheme territory. With Traveris Services, many of these opportunities over the years, I suppose it should come as no surprise that CEO David Manning himself is now launching his own travel niche opportunity. So this guy's been ara around for a while doing this stuff. There's clearly an emphasis on signing up as a referral or certified travel consultant and then therefore paying more in affiliate fees per month and then recruiting others to do the same. As with all recruitment-driven schemes, once those at the bottom cannot find anyone to recruit, yep. they will stop paying their monthly membership fees. This means that those above them stop getting paid, and then they too will stop paying their membership fees. Plunk, this plunk, effect plunk, plunk, plunk. trickles up the company over time until it triggers an, an irreversible company-wide collapse. Because at some point... You're going to run out of uh, of a marketplace. At some point, the market will be saturated with these vacation travel consultants, and uh, no well, one's going to want to sign up. And I, I would imagine that point of saturation is relatively soon, because who the hell needs a travel consultant anymore? Anyway, go ahead, Tyler. Well, eventually, yeah. What, what you're saying is eventually you're going to run out of saps. That's right. And when I, the way I saw it when I was reading it was that um, if essentially this, this company is is – profiting off of the ignorance of the masses. And That's correct. So, but buyer like, beware. Like I, I mean, whether, you know, there's all kinds of ignorant people out there and the government can't protect them uh, by, you know, prosecuting all kinds of scams companies. that are legal. And the government itself it profits off of people's ignorance as well. Tyler, thanks for the call tonight. There's more coming up here in a moment. So buyer beware and do your research and you will be all right. Growth can be an intimidating six letter word, especially when the guys upstairs want seven percent of it. That's why you need one eight-letter word, G-R-A-I-N-G-E-R. -E Granger. the G is for growth. From industry specialists to over a million products across almost every category, Granger has the resources to help us grow. Now, can you guess what my favorite four-letter word is? W-O-R-K. Let's get back to it. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Geico Motorcycle presents Reflections from the Road. Let me tell you, the road is a much more relaxing place since I switched to Geico Motorcycle Insurance and started saving money. With that taken care of, now I can think about deep, important things. Like how come it's a pair of pants when there's only one of them? A real brain teaser. But hey, at least saving money with Geico Motorcycle is as easy as pie. What does that mean, anyway? Geico Motorcycle Insurance. See how much you could save. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, April 30th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.70 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,207 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $234. 
Antiwar.com reports one of the first in a flurry of proposed amendments to a deal to give Congress oversight on the P5 plus one deal with Iran. The Barrasso Amendment failed yesterday in the Senate by a vote of 54 to 45. The amendment would have conditioned any sanctions relief in the deal on the president certifying that Iran is not supporting acts of terrorism. A number of similar proposals as well as some aimed to tie the deal to Iran endorsing Israel as a Jewish state have not yet been addressed. Such amendments are facing flack both in the form of a White House threat to veto the deal if it includes such amendments that would undermine the talks and from Senate leaders who have warned that some of the more bellicose amendments amount to poison pills aimed to cut their veto-proof majority and kill the deal outright. The next amendment likely to come up is from Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri and aims to tie the deal to Iran releasing a handful of American prisoners, including Robert Levinson, who it isn't even clear if Iran has as a prisoner. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports California Governor Jerry Brown announced legislation on Tuesday that would increase fines up to $10,000 for the worst water wasters, up from the current fine of $500. The Democratic governor also proposed to further empower the ability of cities and counties to issue fines, warnings, and citations. He made the announcement after meeting with 14 city mayors. The steep fines would be only for the worst offenders, according to Brown. Brown said after the meeting with mayors, we've done a lot, we have a long way to go. So maybe you want to think of this just as another installment on a long enterprise to live with a changing climate and with a drought of uncertain duration. Brown also announced he is directing state agencies to speed up environmental reviews of some water projects. The announcement on Tuesday strengthens Brown's efforts to combat California's fourth year of drought. Lawmakers in California will now negotiate with Brown on the proposed legislation. Brown defended his executive order signed in early April implementing mandatory water restrictions that largely left the agricultural community untouched. Only 10 fines have been imposed for excessive water usage by the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power since April 6th. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports the U.S. Supreme Court ruled on Wednesday that states may bar judicial candidates from soliciting campaign contributions in a decision rejecting a Florida candidate's assertion that such limits violate the Constitution's guarantee of free speech. Conservative Chief Justice John Roberts joined the court's four liberals in a 5-4 to four decision that made it easier for states to regulate judicial elections. The ruling follows Supreme Court decisions in recent years lifting other campaign finance restrictions, but this affects only judicial elections and is unlikely to have a broader impact. The court ruled on Wednesday against Linnell williams Jule, who ran in 2009 for county court judge in Tampa. She objected when Florida's Supreme Court publicly reprimanded her for a mass mail campaign fundraising letter asking for donations of up to $500. She contended the ban on personally soliciting contribution, part of Florida's Code of Judicial Conduct, violated her free speech rights under the Constitution's First Amendment. The Florida regulation does allow candidates to set up committees that can solicit contributions on their behalf. William Jule ultimately lost the election and says she did not receive any campaign contributions. Roberts wrote on behalf of the court, judges are not politicians, even when they come to the bench by way of ballot, adding that a state's decision to elect its judiciary does not compel it to treat judicial candidates like campaigners for other political office. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
For over 12 years, Halverson Enterprises CEO Peter Weathers has taken a hands-on approach in all aspects of the tech firm's growth and day-to-day -day business. But employees say the executive's true talent lies in his unique ability to recognize great ideas and then absolutely ruin them. For as long as I've worked here, Peter has been able to sit down in a meeting, listen to a million different ideas, pick out the one that makes the most sense creatively and financially, and then totally destroy it until there's basically nothing worthwhile about it left. He's remarkable. Employees through Throughout the company say they're most impressed by Weathers' ability to water down promising ideas with meaningless jargon, consistently choose the wrong person to head up every project, and inject virtually every halfway decent thought with his own short-sighted and terrible insights. At our all-hands meeting the other week, our team put forth a very feasible plan to boost productivity, and it was really incredible to see Peter's mind at work, just taking every good aspect of our proposal and dismantling it like a small child. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live. You can call in, talk about anything you want. You're at 855-450-FREE. You know, there's actually a lot to talk about in uh, Baltimore, and I have a number of stories lined up about that. There's also a crackdown in New York City on a solidarity protest as well. Uh, the results of the investigation are now completed. The police, has in, uh, police in Baltimore have investigated themselves. We'll tell you what they have to say for themselves here in a moment. <laughs> Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. With you in studio, Ian here. And Johnson. And Mark. Back to the phones and to the fun. We've got Colin in Baltimore listening via TuneIn. Hello, Colin. Hey, hey guys. Yeah, so I actually um, worked for one of these network marketing companies and quit just a couple weeks ago. And I have, and my company operated uh, much like the one that Tyler's did. Um, but mine, instead of charging these uh, monthly fees, um, what they actually did was the way they brought on salesmen, and you worked for your commission, but actually the office got uh, a, a good majority of your commission for every, for every uh, one they sold. How delightful! And were you yeah, just to yeah, clarify yeah. something? Were you working for the company itself, meaning you worked at the office of the company, or were you uh, an independent distributor of the company? I, I worked for the independent d distributor. I, I worked for the network marketing company, and we were cliented by a company called Power Home Remodeling. Okay. I'm confused. And You worked for uh, a distributor sorry, for the network marketing company, or you worked for the company itself as an employee? Because the people who are their distributors are independent contractors, basically, and they're not employees, technically. Were you an employee of the company that created the opportunity or somebody who signed up as a distributor? No, I worked for the Opportunity Company, if that makes sense. Meaning you worked for the, the sort of home office, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, 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 worked, I worked as one of the marketers, you know, the people that sold their, their, their products for them, basically. And, and, and the company we worked for. Okay, Power, it sounds like you're uh, an independent contractor then. Yeah, sort of. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, our company was an independent contractor, and we took on uh, many different independent contracts for, for many different companies. All right, that's and super confusing that we, to me. <laughs> yeah. Just go uh, ahead. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, get maybe it. As I go on, uh, yeah, well, maybe as I go on, it, it'll, right. it'll become a little clearer. So so the company that we're hired by is, is, a, is a home remodeling company called Power. And what they do is is they go around and remodel people's homes. They put new roofs on it or new siding or new windows or whatever people may need. And my company's job was to go door to door and and give and uh, sign people up for free estimates from this company. And we were given commission for every estimate that that actually went through and they went out and they did the estimate for. Now some now sometimes we would sign people up. We'd be able to sign people up. But the, but it wouldn't actually the estimate wouldn't actually happen because they would end up changing their minds or something like that. They weren't there, or and, whatever. Yeah. So um, so this company actually so for every every um, demo and we, we called them demos. That's for every estimate that actually went through. We would get one hundred eighty dollars, and the office uh, that 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 I worked for the uh, the marketing company uh, would take about fifty uh, percent of it. And you wouldn't you wouldn't really make very much, and and you'd be out in the field knocking on doors for about six hours a day. Yeah. You got about an yeah, you got about an hour for lunch in between going from the office to the field to wherever far away land they sent you to to knock on doors at, and you could be knocking on doors for maybe eight hours at a time, uh, six to eight hours, 
and then you come back, and then and then you'd have to be there for another hour while they just talked a bunch of bull crap about nothing. And really, and while you were there in the morning, um, you know, it, really nothing happened then either. We we had a morning meeting where they would just not really talk about anything. They would tell you stories about about uh, you know made up made up fictional stories about salesmen that that did that you know did really well in life and got really rich, and that's how they brought you on. And the employee turnaround was so rapid that the way that they really got to rip people off in this is, is if you quit before the first two weeks, they would keep not 50%, but something like 95% of your <laughs> so, so, so if you work, if you worked 140 hours in two weeks, you might have made, you know, $44 off. Of it. So, um, wow. yeah, this is... Uh, How long did you stay on board? Well, well hold on. I wanna, I've got other questions. So if you're setting appointments and you get paid $180 for an appointment, you get half of that at 90 bucks. I mean, there's people in America making a hundred dollars. Uh, you know, making a hundred dollars a day is relatively good. So if you're setting one appointment a day, um, you're not doing too bad. Are you saying that it's difficult to set one appointment in six hours? Well, well, I mean, it's 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 not difficult. But the thing about it is, it's for every is the average of people of, of these estimates actually occurring to the amount of people that you sign up, the ratio is very low. It's about it's only about twenty five percent. Really? So every four yeah, so every four people you sign up, only one of them is actually gonna get their estimate. So you could and, and if you're really good, you might be able to make some money and you might be able to become one of the people higher up that are able to rip people off, you know. But the chances of, of you doing that are, are very slim. Now, okay, so let me see if I follow you. So you go around, you go door to door, knock on doors, asking people to set up a free demo of a home remodel, you know, bring in some expert or whatever to look at their house. And right. uh, and for everyone that actually has the demo, not just signs up for it, but actually goes through with it, then you'll get a 50% on the $180 commission. So you make 90 bucks on that. Is that right? Yes. Okay, yes, but that's correct. but what's happening is people will tell you, yeah, I'll take the demo, and then they'll cancel basically just because they don't they don't want to say no to you to your face. Is that usually why? Uh, do you think? I, I'm assuming that's why. I'm assuming other people are just smart and then realize that that, that they don't need to work on on their house, and they're like, why did I do that? That was retarded, you know. It's like I don't want some guy coming out and messing up my house, and I don't need him to, you know. Now, now, where's the scam at? I mean, is it later once you actually have the demo? Is there some sort of other scammy thing that's going on with the, you know, between the company and the and the customer? Well, well, I mean, it really is a pyramid scheme. But the real scam is that their employees turn around is so rapid that that they use this probation period because they know the majority of the people are going to quit. So the so scam is on the empl all... the scam is on the the workers. Then is is what you're saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the employees. Now it's so probably much, all there so in the contract. You know, all that, it's, it's all oh, probably oh, oh, there. Yeah. Hmm? Right. I, I mean, I'm sure it is. It, I, it, it's just it's just a really, really small print somewhere that you probably don't see. Yeah, you never see and, that stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and they, they know, and they know they're being deceitful with this. But, I mean, they really don't care, you know. Well, uh, so how long did you stay on with this group? Well, I, well, I was there for about a week and a half. And uh, <laughs> for... For pro for probably the 110 hours I worked, I made about thirty dollars, I believe. With <sighs> my paycheck. You wow. couldn't hold yeah, out for so, another two days. Well, well, you know, at the time, I didn't even think they were going to rip me off like that. The only thing uh, I'd known is that is that you know I'd been out there and I wasn't seeing any money yet, and uh, and you know, and, and they wouldn't even tell me of, of all of, of all the people that I signed up. I didn't even know how many actually got 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 their estimates done. So I really didn't even know if I had made any money at all at that point. You had to trust the and, company. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And a lot yeah, of these guys are a lot of these companies are operated by some shady characters who, you know, you can't trust them as far as you can throw them. How did you feel about your right. higher-ups? Well, well, you know, I the, the guys that I worked with specifically on on in, in my office, which which is a which is a sub office of a much bigger company called Smart Circle Concept, and they own a bunch of these these little offices. Because I'm I'm assuming they they get sued all the time for these kind of people practices, and and actually, um, a lot of times if you go on their website, these these little companies. If you if you call the the number the telephone number that's listed on the website, a lot of the telephone numbers will be disconnected or, or, or they won't even exist anymore. Uh, but yeah, I I worked with somebody for about. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What was your other question, Ian? I'm sorry. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying yeah, to read at the same time as uh, as pay attention. It doesn't always work well. I'm looking into this. Well, what was it? Power Consulting. What was it called? Power. Well, oh. well, 
Well, well, Power Home Remodeling Group is the name of the company that 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 actually does the home remodel. They're they're not a bad company, I think. I think they're actually good people, and I don't think they know the way that Smart Circle, the people that does the marketing for them, I, I don't really think they know how they operate. All they all they know is that they do bring them potential sales leads, you know. Yeah, I you know I mean going door to door is difficult work, but I um, at this point, other than you know the company having this crappy uh, rule about the first two weeks, which is intended to keep people on, um, they probably should tell people that. I mean, you know, it doesn't sound like that much of a scam to me. Going door to door is tough work, but I mean that's not scammy. Hard work's not scammy. Colin, it, thanks for the call tonight. It's tough because it's hard. Uh, well, you know, people don't want to do it. I don't know, Mark. There's uh, there's probably more to learn about this. Thank you, Colin, for the call. I appreciate it. Uh, looking at briefly looking for Power Home Remodeling Group doesn't pull up very many happy reviews. <laughs> uh, there's more on the way here in moments. This is Free Talk Live. Are you completely free of stress and fatigue? Well, of course not. You aren't alone, though. Now think about how nice it would be to begin relieving some of that stress and fatigue. Let me introduce you to a product that has and is working for me. It's called Youthful Greens. Youthful Greens. It's packed full of nature's nourishing, cleansing, and alkalizing greens, providing a powerful dose of whole food nutrition in each serving. Youthful Greens helps increase overall energy levels and reduce all that fatigue and stress on your body. And right now, when you visit freegreens.net or call 800-333-6923 and order your one-month supply of Youthful Greens for only $29.95, you get another month's supply for free. That's two months of Youthful Greens for the already low price of just $29.95, plus free shipping. That's saving you $45. Visit freegreens.net today or simply call 800-333-6923. And hey... You're welcome. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road underground market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. 
For this good deed, Ross may be spending the rest of his life in prison. His family is planning to appeal his conviction, but they need your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Ross needs your help now more than ever. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Maybe you want to explain to us your experience with a network marketing. That's sort of what we've been talking about for a, a chunk of the show tonight. We actually had a guy call a moment ago about this power group, power remodeling or power home remodeling group. And it sounded more like that was a direct sales job than it was a network marketing job, at least, you know, from what the content of the call was. It sounded as though he wasn't so much pitching an opportunity to people as he was pitching the sale of home remodeling services uh, for a direct commission. Typically with multi-level marketing, there's, you know, the idea is that you go out and you sell the opportunity to join the company as a marketer. And then, you know, the idea is you recruit three people, recruit three people and then you're a multimillionaire or whatever. And I didn't hear that with the power group. That sounds more like a standard kind of direct sales, like Kirby vacuum cleaners or Cutco knives, where there's not multiple levels. There's just the company and then the sales representatives. And there's some questionable sales practices and some questionable uh, morality involved in how the, the company is, is being run. So, so I don't think that qualifies as network marketing. So I'm thinking that, you know, in marketing, it's probably bad to have multi -le multiple levels of, uh, you know, people and layers there. But in networking, it's probably actually a good a good thing to sort of ob ob obfuscate and get in the way of uh, people looking at your traffic and whatnot. I'm just looking at the piece of paper in your hand and, <laughs> and segue. Oh, because I think very good. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell are you talking about? You're talking about Pro XPN, which has nothing to do with multi-level marketing. And it's multi-level networking. You want you, where you want an extra yeah. layer. No, I see what you're saying now, right? <laughs> so what you're what you're saying is that Pro XPN provides you an extra layer of security. That's right. Uh, from people who might want to learn what you're doing online, like your internet service provider who's probably logging all the websites you visit, probably saving those logs in some cases for years. Uh, and then they'll probably sell those things to any marketer that wants to buy them, depending on their privacy policies, and they'll certainly hand them over to the government. So you can protect yourself by grabbing ProXPN's free app over at ProXPN.com slash FTL. You can try it out for free. It's available for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, Android, and Linux. Now, what you don't get for free is the premium features, which include unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can connect to. You can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. And ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits at all. So when you're ready to upgrade to premium, uh, you can do it for about 5 bucks a month by getting 50% off of the price of their annual account with code FTL50. That's like Free Talk Live FTL and the number 50, as in 50% 50 off. And you can go and grab that over at ProXPN.com slash FTL. By the way, that code FTL50 locks in your savings for the lifetime of your account. So when you're ready to renew for year number two, you get the same great deal from ProXPN. It's all there with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. And again, you can just go try it out for free over at ProXPN.com slash FTL. Don't forget promo code FTL50 to get a great discount on privacy that is priceless. And that way, when you're hooked up to your battery in that airport, uh, you know, you can also be protected from all the hacks that might be stealing your information in that airport. They certainly could be trying to <laughs> sniff out your Wi-Fi packets, and ProXPN will protect you from that. But ProXPN will not protect you from making bad decisions on the Internet. Uh, that you have to uh, you know, be <laughs> careful with. You have to do your due diligence. And this comes back around to the question Tyler had for us was, you know, a lot of these companies, whether they be uh, multi-level marketing or direct marketing, uh, direct sales, some of them have some real scammy feels to them. And uh, so you really have to take your time with this stuff. And thank goodness that we have the internet now because it makes this a lot easier. I mean, back when, uh, you know, uh, there was an internet when I signed up for multi-level marketing, but it wasn't the same internet. It was the late 1990s. And of course, you know, Amway and other companies have been around for decades. So multi-level marketing is no nothing new. And, 
you know, in the 80s or the early 90s when you couldn't possibly do any quick Googling about a company, then it would have been a lot more difficult to really assess uh, the business opportunity because you odds are wouldn't know anyone who has worked in those companies. You wouldn't be able to just, you know, reach out to your network and find out what people's experiences were. Uh, you'd be being pitched on some obscure sounding company with some grandiose sounding opportunity about how you're going to make all kinds of money and get a boat and a car and a house. And they always pitch you with all, all these stuff. things. And, uh, and so it would have been a lot harder. Now it's a simple Google search to find out all kinds of information. Of course, there's dueling information, right? So when you look for these companies, there there's like a page with reviews and People, a lot of people have terrible experiences. And then every now and then there's somebody in there that says, this is great. Everything's been fantastic. And you know that's an active distributor, right, that's writing that review. Okay. So how likely is it that they're being honest with you? Uh, you don't really know those things. But I know that when I looked for this power home remodeling group, the first response that Google showed me was pissedconsumer.com, where here are some of the headlines from people uh, in the, what they titled their reviews of this company. Review about, uh, let's see here, uh, Power Home and Riling Group. Beware, don't let this company into your house unless you have loads of time and loads of money. <laughs> Next one says it's an overpriced and unethical business practices. Uh, leaking window, ridiculous price estimate, uh, pressuring salesman, built in, uh, bait and switch, cancellation of job. I mean, this is just it just goes on and on. Uh, this guy says that he had a roof project a shutters and attic installation. The salesman was great. He came to the house and explained the whole process for the project. The nightmare, however, started later on when the actual project was executed, which is why I was curious when our last guy was on, like, well, what happens after the pitch, right? Because the last caller was talking about how he felt it was a scam on the employees uh, who didn't really realize you know, how tough this job was and that if they bailed uh, within the first two weeks, they would get 5% of their commissions rather than 50% uh, of their commissions. And the supermajority of these employees will bail within the first two weeks. It's tough work going door to door. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I think that that practice is certainly uh, suspect, but the the fifty percent thing doesn't sound terrible, and when you're talking about getting ninety dollars uh, for you know closing a deal, you say so you're six hours out in the field. It doesn't sound. I, I mean, you'd think you'd be able to close a a few deals a, a day, and I mean these don't sound like terrible numbers. I remember when I got a paycheck that was uh, four hundred dollars for a week. I said I can live on this. Now it's been some time, and obviously I don't think I could live on it now, but uh, you know, I mean, when you're talking about selling one deal a day, I think that somebody, you know, this isn't terrible for a uh, first job out of college or something. So here's this customer's experience. This is the first one on the, the list. They gave one star uh, to the experience out of five. Previous, uh, he says the salesman was good, but the nightmare started later on. The installation project manager, John Mail, came to our house to talk to my wife to get all the dates and things ready for the installation day. The day the project manager wrote down on the checklist template that the shutter color we were picking was black. Immediately, my wife told him we wanted red, but his answer was that the color wasn't going to be a problem because that was just a paperwork thing and they could call later on confirming the color of the shutters. First mistake. At the end, she forgot and signed the paperwork. They told us in that in the they told us that in order to do the insulation, the roof had to be done first. The roof project date had to be changed four times because of the weather, and I soon realized the company had a very bad internal communication because they never told the insulation department. So they ended coming trying to do the ended up coming to try to do the attic installation, even though the roof wasn't done yet, and I ended up sending them back. We received a call from customer service to confirm the shutters uh, colors that my wife told them were red, but they said they didn't have that color. At the end, my wife told them we would like them to be white. White, and they agreed. The day the roof was done, the shutters didn't arrive. I spoke to their supervisor. He told me to forgive them that they would install it next Friday. The guys finished the roof and did a good job. And at that point, I wasn't completely happy because of the shutters, but they did promise they would install them next Friday. On Friday, they never showed up. I'll tell you more here in a moment. You can share your thoughts here, and we'll talk a little bit about Baltimore on the way. It's Free Talk Live. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. 
That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right, that's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows you can't afford to wait so call 866-91-STEEL lock in your price now call 866-91-STEEL that's 866-917-8335 so the protection of life liberty and property is is what the free state project is all about but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand it's about demonstrating to the entire country that, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at africa.lrn.fm. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. africa.lrn.fm. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Are you making sense to the boomer mindset? I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com. 80 million baby boomers comprise 25% of the population and control most of the USA's wealth. As aging parents pass on, they'll control more. Boomers are 46 to 65 years old and regard themselves as midlife. They identify as neither young nor old. They're post minivan and pre retirement. And they don't like being called boomers. They think me. Many of the purchases boomer couples make are individual purposes. They've been experimenters all their lives. If you want their attention, tell stories and keep it simple. If something seems complicated, boomers can dismiss it as, I don't need this. And if you're looking for work, you may be applying to a boomer, so relate accordingly. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, the uh, police in Baltimore have completed their investigation, they say, of the Freddie Gray death that has uh, led to a lot of protesting and people in the streets, a lot of frustration uh, boiling over there in Baltimore, as we've been covering for the last several days here on the program. And we'll tell you what the police have to say here in just a few moments. But we're actually looking into uh, one of these multi-level, well, I guess not even a multi-level marketing. This is just a direct marketing company, kind of a scammy feeling company. We had a caller say he had a bad experience from the uh, sales side of things when he was working for the company. But he's not the only person who's had uh, bad experiences as well. Customers and potential customers, there's a lot of... Uh, 
well, not so nice reviews over on a website called pissedconsumer.com. You got to love the internet for bringing you information about companies so you can really properly assess things before you decide to get involved. So uh, we'll continue with that here in a moment. But one thing is for sure, Sherry's Berries cannot disappoint you. And from what I understand, if for something, if for some, re- some reason something happens, like, I don't know, it UPS delivers it to the wrong place or something like that, Sherry's Berries will do what it takes to make sure their customers are happy. At berries.com is where you can go. B-E-R-R-I-E-S. Mother's Day is coming up. And if you've never had Sherry's Berries before, then you're going to have to take my word for this. But they're awesome. Yeah, they're they're great. Some of the best things I've ever put in my mouth. Delicious. And you're telling me, Mark, that we've got an order showing up here at the studio within the next day or so. I'm very excited about that. I thought it was going to be here today. Maybe, Maybe tomorrow. Giant, freshly dipped strawberries. You can get them with over a 40% savings starting at just $19.99 for your mother. Mother's Day is coming up in less than two weeks, and there's no way mom couldn't love this gift. You know, flowers, teddy bears, that's all fine. Chocolates, eh, it's kind of standard chocolates. Those are boring. Sherry's Berries are awesome. You won't be disappointed. They're dipped in white milk and dark chocolatey goodness, topped with chocolate chips, nuts, and decorative swizzle, and you can double the size of the order for another 10 bucks. Now, you get these deals only by using our discount code, which is FTL. So you go to berries.com, click the microphone in the top right-hand corner, type in FTL, and when you, when you go through the process, you can actually schedule when these get delivered. You can pick the day of delivery and everything. Uh, so berries.com, click the mic, type in FTL, and get these awesome deals. And by the way, they do have other things there. Maybe for whatever reason, your mom is allergic to strawberries. Well, they've got cake truffles and brownie pops and pretzels. They're good. Uh, and more. The, the, and so, the, the, the Dipped cheesecakes. Mm. Have you tried that? Uh, I I haven't gotten an opportunity, but man, it looks good, doesn't it? I mean, a bunch of cheesecake. Well, I, I can't imagine it would be bad, um, but yeah, I imagine uh, Sherry's. If they're, if they're if they're chocolate covered strawberries are any indication of the quality, I expect everything else is very very good. Berries.com. Go there and to get yourself something for mom, and get something for you while you're at it, or at the very least, double the the order for another ten bucks. That way, you can uh, mom might share with them. Uh, share share them with you. They have a flower and strawberry combo thing that you can get that comes in on two different days, which is real cool. Meaning flowers and strawberries. Yeah. Very cool. Berries.com, code FTL. So we were reading uh, one of these reviews from a, a customer of this power home remodeling group, a suspicious direct sales door-to-door company. And, you know, if they have to go around knocking on people's doors to sell their product— isn't that a bad sign right out the Why? gate? I mean, because if they were really good, then wouldn't they be doing fine on word of mouth alone? Like when you have somebody come over You're, and do— What are you talking about? Businesses need advertising. This is a form of marketing. Yeah, I understand that. But word of mouth is the most popular or the most effective yeah. form of marketing. How much marketing? time of your day do you spend telling people about all the great businesses that you deal with? It's ridiculous, Ian. That's a dumb thing to say. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, that's just how I feel about it. If a company is good at doing home remodeling, someone will, t- you know, people will talk about it. And one of the other things people, a company like that, could do is they could ask for referrals from their customers as well. It's I don't a know. great idea. It just to do seems referrals. suspicious to me. What no, what, is, what are okay. some really great products that have been marketed door to door in the last ten years? Uh, are you talking about national level products? Whatever. I don't know. The f- if you're going around to knocking on people's doors, if you're doing home repairs, yeah. it seems like you know g- seeing a person's house is a great way to do it. Mm-hmm. If I had a business doing home repair, the place I would start is door to door. I would go around, knock, knock. Hey, can I help? Look, I'd like to do some work for you. Door to door sales is incredibly effective for people who've got the guts to do it. It's a bunch of namby pamby people that can't get out and knock on a door that complain about how everybody else's business is run. Well, it's a shame that uh, a lot of these companies, then, Mark, are basically seem very scammy in the way they do their business. So it doesn't lend good. Uh, credence to the rest of the people in the industry. I in will admit case. to you that a good salesperson um, can, you know, market a bad company door to door. But that also a good salesperson can market a good company door to door. What's the last time uh, somebody came to your door with a product that was useful for you? People don't come to my door. The last yeah. time people came to my door, the only people I've had come to my door are uh, religious people and politicians. 
So we're telling you about this uh, review here from. I guess I had a home remodeling guy uh, come in when I was trying to, uh, you know, I had, when I had to get a permit. He was the guy who gave out the permits for the the government in my town. Um, he and he worked with a company as and well. He works with a company that uh, does solar panels. I didn't take him up on his offer, so I suppose he might qualify um, in your question. So this company, and the company is a great company who's got a bricks and mortar location who I've done business with in the past. I just don't want any solar panels. This so, one's called Power Home Remodeling Group, and that was our caller earlier. There's one. Somebody has made an accusation against a company. Big deal. Oh, there's loads of uh, accusations okay. against this company. Anyway, they never showed up for their appointment on Friday. This is from a customer who actually went with the order. Like yep. they got pitched, and then they said, "All right, I want to order insulation. I want to order uh, some uh, a new roof and some uh, shutters as well." So they had said that they wanted red shutters, but the company ultimately got them to sign off on black shutters. And one so of the problems with online reviews is um, that you the people that are got good service and are happy they don't write them they don't yeah. write them so you don't know what the percentage is i mean if a company does has nine out of ten uh happy customers and one unhappy customer they're going to look like a really a crappy company yeah. but generally they're doing a good job this is one of the problems i have with online reviews i don't trust the person who's writing it either mm. i mean many times i feel like these people that are writing reviews are just some a-hole who works for the other company out that there that could be true that, that you know maybe they bought something so they could write a review but now they write this terrible review that's trying to throw me off so i i just sometimes the there's be well, something the, better than yeah. listening to a-holes who unhappy a-holes <laughs> on the internet I, I i just i hate it it's it's a terrible system i don't know whether this company's a scammer a scam artist or not there's been lots of scam artists that go door to door i don't know whether this guy has a bite vitamin b deficiency and lives his whole life in misery because he is just chronically unhappy i have no clue maybe so but when there's a large number of people who've write, uh, written negative reviews, that is yep. some indicator that yeah. maybe there's a problem here because, you know, you can go and look up other companies in the home remodeling industry and see positive reviews from customers. So the fact that virtually no positive reviews exist uh, is usually an indicator that maybe there's something wrong here. I you think know, to some extent people don't just g generally don't like the door-to-door -door sales uh, technique that it, you know, kind of leaves them um, uh, leaves them sort of feeling burned um, in many cases. Well, I, you know, I wasn't thinking about doing that. And then this person came to the door and uh, convinced me that it was a good idea. And now it's their responsibility. I've seen far too many people abdicate their responsibility for purchases based on the fact that uh, somebody told them they should do it. That person's not wrong. You made your decision. You wrote a check. So anyway, uh, they had this insulation project after a, a few things had already been botched previously, and they sent over a couple of guys for this project. They started working on the job, but it was too big for them, and for some reason they sent Dennis, the experienced guy, with a totally new guy for this two-person job. They told us that it was his first day and that he was learning. Soon they started fighting between them and swearing, which was totally inappropriate. One of them quit right there and slammed my storm door and broke one of the bump closers, which I didn't notice at that moment. The other experienced guy tried to tell me the job was done and he was trying to get me to sign the paperwork. I soon told him to call his supervisor and told him to get out of my house as I'd had enough with those two. The manager told me that we would uh, that they would send a supervisor the next day. Uh, 855 450 free is the toll free number. There's also another review here about the actual sales process from someone who works in the sales industry, and he felt like it was incredibly high pressure, and it took four hours the actual visit for the uh, supposed free sales pitch. Wow, <laughs> whatever. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. It's like a timeshare. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. You've been lied to. Being overweight is not about overeating, not exercising, or a lack of self-control. Diets, gyms, and pills can't fix it. It's your hormones. Go to 99skinny.com for a free video where Dr. Stephen Siskin explains the four hormonal barriers to weight loss in men and women over 40. When I first started losing the weight, all my clothes were falling off. I got some skinny jeans, and my husband is chasing me around the table again. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. Go to 99skinny.com to see this riveting free video. That's 99skinny.com. 
We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Free Talk Live. We're talking about the immigration situation here in this country. Now, Jeff, you have a five-point plan. I'd like for you to go over the five points again. Oh, sure. Hold on. I've just, I just got to turn to the page. That's fine. And Never if you, uh, he's got pages worth of uh, <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Number one, close the border. Put up, put, put up a barrier on the border. And, and I mean a, a barrier. Like a great wall? Um, yeah, a great wall, barrier, stone wall. Right. I mean, something that's secure. And, and then you put a moat underneath. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, Alligators yeah. in the moat? <laughs> All right. Now, you've got more, though, right? we got a wall oh, and a oh, moat, oh. and then what? Uh, and you can you can put sensors on there. The, the right. motion detector. Motion, uh, like motion tracking uh, machine guns, too? Like um, brrr, yeah. Spit out some 50 cals right. at them if, they, if it moves. <laughs> that be ninjas. That's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> we just need ninjas mounted at 10-foot intervals along this wall. The border ninjas. <laughs> Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you're a liberty and freedom-oriented American, come to the third annual Arizona Freedom Fest at Shots Ranch Shooting Range May 1st through May 3rd. Fun for the whole family. Lots of stuff for the kids and lots of great guest speakers and events for everyone. Food, music, shopping, and more. Speakers include Sheriff Richard Mack, Derek Grayson, Joel Skousen, and many more. Plenty of camping room at Shots Ranch. For tickets or more info, go to ArizonaFreedomFest.com. That's the third annual Arizona Freedom Fest at Shots Ranch May 1st through May 3rd. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number tonight. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features waiting for you on the sites with you in studio. You've got Ian here. And Johnson. And Mark. And don't forget, uh, you can also call into the show via Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. Maybe you've worked for a scammy company in the past, and uh, it's not necessarily that you didn't want to go out and make the calls or knock on the doors it's that this you feel like the company took advantage of you or was taking advantage of the customers or not being honest in their business dealings and mark you would admit that companies like that do exist right that it's not necessarily the employees who are doing a bad job yep right uh so that's what we're talking about i think about the right companies now. that uh the the worst companies for doing that sort of thing are companies that sort of churn and burn as far as customers go mm -hmm. so if you're trying to sell somebody some big thing that they're not going to need a new one of in the relatively near future like a roof uh, roof, yeah, right? Like, you shouldn't need a new roof in the next 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, you know, <laughs> so the roofing company says to themselves, uh, well, we've got to just essentially get new roofs and these sorts of things. Um, they can't get referral work, like you've said, because they're not doing great work. Mm -hmm. So they've got, to, they've got to do marketing. They've got to put more money and more energy into marketing, which is, you know, like companies, good companies put time and energy in marketing, too. I just think that uh, vilifying door-to-door -door sales 
is, uh, is is just completely unfair. It's a fantastic way. As a matter of fact, Governor Gary Johnson, um, who we've had on the show more than one time, he made his money in handyman work. He started out, I believe, in college or high school just doing handyman work, went door to door, got mm-hmm. his business, grew his company, you know, from there to there, um, you know, up, up, up. Well, door to door sales is a fantastic and legitimate way to grow your business. You may have a good and reputable business, or you may have a bad and irreputable business. What speaks what what this speaks of highly of is door to door marketing as a fantastic way to do marketing, specifically for home related stuff. You know they have a home, they're likely to buy this thing. So there you go. That's how you do it. That's what I mean. Right. Unfortunately, the the uh, field is littered with questionable operations and scammy, you know, sort of uh, concepts. So that's what I'm sharing with you. Some of these reviews here on this power home remodeling group from pissedconsumer.com. So you've got the situation with uh, a fairly large install. There's some insulation. There's a roof. There's uh, some shutters, and the shutter color has been an issue. And in fact, at one point, the company did not show up when they said they would. Uh, wife called, and they rescheduled for Thursday of the following week because a couple of also the couple of the shutters arrived broken. Which you know that stuff happens, right? Things like that, accidents happen. Well, the next Thursday they didn't show up again. And uh, so he called. They apologized and rescheduled for Tuesday. Tuesday came, and again they didn't show up. They ended up coming Wednesday since they were, and since we were at work, they told us they could install the shutters without us being there. When we arrived home after work, the first thing we noticed is they changed the shutter, uh, the shutters out. But guess what? They installed black shutters instead of the white ones that my wife had requested and that they had agreed to previously. They also left a mess of trash in my yard. I called customer service and they're clueless, and they said they won't change them. Uh, he says, I would not recommend this company. Please stay away from them. And then further, there's this uh, other well, review here. I would like to point out, this guy signed a piece of paper asking for black shutters. Well, and then he got a verbal agreement that uh, it would be changed to This guy a signed color. a piece of paper asking for black shutters. Well, they pressured him into signing the uh, They the didn't pressure him into by anything. By saying that they could change the color later on. The, he signed a piece of paper asking for right. black shutters. When you sign a piece of paper asking for black shutters... I have a clue for you. But when the salesman's you're likely, telling you differently. Don't listen to the salesman when well, he says that black is red. Okay. <laughs> okay? L- ladies and gentlemen of America and talk show hosts sitting across from me, when you sign a piece of paper yeah. asking for black shutters, expect to get black shutters. Yeah, I understand that, Mark. But at the same time, when the salesman says, oh, it's no big deal, we'll just call customer service and change the color. Well, but- in the future, it, what you would do there is you say, oh, okay, great, it's no big deal. And then you cross out the word black and you write red. And then you sign the piece of paper. I get you. I, I totally understand that. <laughs> Most I'm not people don't know that you can do that. Right. And that's what I would have done in that situation. Yeah. I, I totally understand where you're coming from, Mark. But at the same time, when the person who's selling you the job is telling you something different from like, well, oh, look, just sign the paper. We'll take care of the color change. That's no problem. And then they end up not doing that. That's that's still an issue, right? Like that's not I being really honest. I agree, it's an issue. But yeah. when, when you're dealing with salespeople, like don't, don't most people, don't most adults understand that salespeople work by commission? Many times we're talking about people who coast in and coast out of jobs. Um, you know these sorts of things. You are responsible for the contracts you sign. Yes, I know when the salesperson says, "Oh, don't worry, we'll take care of it." That's a nice way to cop out of your responsibilities, but it really is a cop out. So here's what happened before. Uh, This is a different review about what the sales pitch was like. He says it was a four-hour free estimate appointment, and he says my time isn't free, so four hours is certainly not considered a free estimate by my standards. And he says I'll now attempt to accurately describe the perplexing, unsettling, and honestly fascinating experience we had with Power HRG, the home remodeling group. And as someone who works in the advertising industry, it amazes me that companies run off of this business model. He says, I hope I can uh, save people four to five hours of their time and uh, by writing this review. You know, I could talk a little bit about a, a, a crazy pitch uh, from personal perspective as I worked for one of these really, really scammy telemarketing companies in, mm-hmm. in uh, Florida. And I actually found a little bit of the, the script uh, that was uh, used to sort of scam people. And it was one of the dirtiest jobs I've ever worked. And I found out how the whole marketing plan works. So if you want to 
cover a little bit of that, I could talk about it. Sure. Because it was one of the dirtiest, uh, dirtiest jobs I've ever worked. Was this the one where they were offering like a free cruise or something like that? Uh, actually, here's what I found. So uh, the, I've got somebody who's talking about it. They wrote a little argu- article. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but just the part about the uh, the pitch that they received. So this guy goes on to say, the other day I received an exciting message in the mail. It was pink and very official looking. It resembled a telegraph and the words were all capitalized. At first I was worried that I might have done something wrong Hmm. or that uh, something bad had happened. I was relieved to see that it was something else altogether. The letter read NME and it's got an address and it's got a number and an ID number, like a telephone number first, an 888 telephone number, and then an ID number and says, Dear Cody, we have been trying to reach you regarding your $2,100,000 sweepstakes ID number, and then there's a number. Please call us at the above number. This is a free call. Pat Haynes, sales representative. (laughs) Expiration notice. We must hear from you by the deadline on the front of this mailer. Otherwise, your ID number will expire. Uh, this guy goes on to say, I had a few weeks left before the expiration date. That left me plenty of time to investigate this notice. I was more than a little skeptical. I had never entered this sweepstakes. Why would I have suddenly won? The notice also had a yeah. good housekeep good had good housekeeping stamped on it in large black bold letters. I had heard of good ca- housekeeping, but had never heard of Pat Haynes or this NME. I began searching for the web for on NME and on Pat Haynes to find out what I could. I began my investigation by searching the web for information about NME and I typed the address in the search box and away I went. And I'm not going to go into more of his story. I'll just say that I worked for this. Um, I actually worked for a company called Special Data Processing, um, which NMA, NME was a client of, the National Magazine Exchange. And essentially what people would do is they would call in, right, and uh, they, you would answer the phone and you would tell them that you were going to register them for a sweepstakes. And then what you would do is have a conversation. So let's say you call in to ask, you know, uh, about the sweepstakes and have I won? Well, we're going to register you and make sure. And, and, uh, you know, you've not already won, you can get additional chances and whatnot. And so you would speak to these people about, um, well, what would you do if you want all that money? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, how, how would you do things? And then essentially what you're doing there is gathering data on that person. If they tell you, well, I would buy a boat or blah, blah, blah. Suddenly, you know, that person's interested in boating. So boating Time magazine. to sell boating magazines. Uh-huh. Yeah. So essentially it would just go through these pitches and it was just basically a, t- a taking advantage of the stupid um, is essentially wh- where that that whole company was, you know, uh, where they would go is essentially they would make people believe that it's possible that they were going to win a bunch of money. And was there an actual contest in which they were being entered? Uh, supposedly, they told us there was. <laughs> but uh, essentially, what I've found out since is that what there really was is a bunch of credit card fraud. Uh, <laughs> oh, the, my. Yeah, that the company uh, actually was overcharging people for the magazines and just all sorts of uh, filthy stuff. How delightful. Wow. Yeah, it was really, really not good. Um, and unfortunately, I was exceedingly good at it. How long did you stay there? Uh few months did you feel dirty when you cashed your paychecks not really i mean not that that part didn't it was just the act of actually doing the sale like i'm like this doesn't sound legit like this does there's something just this is not but i mean the thing that really surprised me about doing that job is you know when people asking people over and over and over again what they would do with the money the surprisingly large number of people that would say i think it would give it away that's interesting an unfortunately large number of people that say i would give it to my church What magazine would you recommend if they get, said they would give it all away? Uh, give it all away? Yeah. Well, I would ask more questions. Okay, than that. But if go. it was church, you know, maybe something religious. I'll post the uh, link to this review that uh, for the reviews for this other group here on our Facebook and Twitter. Here, we'll see you tomorrow. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American Empire? The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Free speech is protected on the internet, right? 
Not always. Government agencies try to limit free speech and commerce on the net. Luckily, when they do, the Institute for Justice is there to defend your First Amendment right to free speech. IJ helped set the first federal precedent for internet free speech in 1999, and ever since has worked to prevent unconstitutional roadblocks and cyberspace. Visit our website today at ij.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Flaming Freedom is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, April 30th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.70 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,207 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $234. Antiwar.com reports, one of the first in a flurry of proposed amendments to a deal to give Congress oversight on the P5 plus 1 deal with Iran, the Barrasso Amendment failed yesterday in the Senate by a vote of 54 to 45. The amendment would have conditioned any sanctions relief in the deal on the president certifying that Iran is not supporting acts of terrorism. A number of similar proposals as well as some aimed to tie the deal to Iran endorsing Israel as a Jewish state have not yet been addressed. Such amendments are facing flack, both in the form of a White House threat to veto the deal if it includes such amendments that would undermine the talks, and from Senate leaders who have warned that some of the more bellicose amendments amount to poison pills aimed to cut their veto-proof majority and kill the deal outright. The next amendment likely to come up is from Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri and aims to tie the deal to Iran releasing a handful of American prisoners, including Robert Levinson, who it isn't even clear if Iran has as a prisoner. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports California Governor Jerry Brown announced legislation on Tuesday that would increase fines up to $10,000 for the worst water wasters, up from the current fine of $500. The Democratic governor also proposed to further empower the ability of cities and counties to issue fines, warnings, and citations. He made the announcement after meeting with 14 city mayors. The steep fines would be only for the worst offenders, according to Brown. Brown said after the meeting with mayors, we've done a lot, we have a long way way to go, so maybe you want to think of this just as another installment on a long enterprise to live with a changing climate and with a drought of uncertain duration. Brown also announced he is directing state agencies to speed up environmental reviews of some water projects. The announcement on Tuesday strengthens Brown's efforts to combat California's fourth year of drought. Lawmakers in California will now negotiate with Brown on the proposed legislation. Brown defended his executive order signed in early April implementing mandatory water restrictions that largely left the agricultural community untouched. Only 10 fines have been imposed for excessive water usage by the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power since April 6th. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. 
Reuters reports the U.S. Supreme Court ruled on Wednesday that states may bar judicial candidates from soliciting campaign contributions in a decision rejecting a Florida candidate's assertion that such limits violate the Constitution's guarantee of free speech. Conservative Chief Justice John Roberts joined the court's four liberals in a 5-4 to four decision that made it easier for states to regulate judicial elections. The ruling follows Supreme Court decisions in recent years lifting other campaign finance restrictions, but this affects only judicial elections and is unlikely to have a broader impact. The court ruled on Wednesday against Linnell williams Julie, who ran in 2009 for county court judge in Tampa. She objected when Florida's Supreme Court publicly reprimanded her for a mass mail campaign fundraising letter asking for donations of up to $500. She contended the ban on personally soliciting contribution, part of Florida's Code of Judicial Conduct, violated her free speech rights under the Constitution's First Amendment. The Florida regulation does allow candidates to set up committees that can solicit contributions on their behalf. Williams-Julay ultimately lost the election